fired, but we'll see what's happening. It looks like audio is working. But anyway, welcome back to the live stream of the first day where we're going to try to make as much money as possible with step counting and clay farming and just trying to set up the rest of the run for making the most money as possible. So real quick, before I get started, if anybody has tuned in yet, if you don't mind saying anything in the chat, I would like to see if I've got everything set up currently. I'm using um, something called Restream to do both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. And it looks like I've got the chat working. It looks like it's popping up at the bottom left. So yeah, if I need to change anything, I can kind of go as I go along. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started. And I guess I can start by going over the route. Because this first day route is going to be really tough to pull off. One second, I've got so many tabs open that I have to switch between. You can currently see... I've been learning the 69 clay farming pattern. I'm hoping for, I don't know, 150 clay before 10, maybe 300 clay before noon in order to um be on track so i definitely have ways to go here my calculations that i did i need let's take a look i'm hoping for around 6000 g before probably two o'clock three o'clock because the goal is to Head to Clint's right when he closes at 4 o'clock. That way we can earn as much clay as possible before then. And I want to grab copper ore from him. I want to grab... After that, head to the saloon. Get pepper poppers and some coffee. And then maybe get the pack upgrade. If... If getting like the 300 clay before then isn't possible, then I'm not going to worry about the pack upgrade. That's kind of more of a luxury for day two because we'll be fishing most likely. So we'll see about that. But to start, we just have to get this first day down. So let me load in with the dynamic seed here. And for anyone who doesn't know the seeds I'm using. I am going off of Blade's Penny Marriage Run because I thought those seeds were some really good first day seeds. I don't know if I'll keep using those from like day two and onward, but for the first two days, they're really good for getting free energy, restoring items. All right, so we load into day one. What do we do? First, we'll switch the tools around. Ideally, it would be nice to have a chest to dump like some of these items, but there's really nothing we can do about it It's not worth our time to make a chest in the morning here and I am gonna pull up our map predictor and Our step counting so I am gonna manually count steps. I am going to Use a little trick to walk around a little bit smoother than like pause buffering the whole time but we will now, one little technical difficulty here is on my OBS, I'm trying to pull up the multi chat room, but it doesn't seem to be working. Not sure if I can refresh it or not. Otherwise, 
I'll have to periodically switch between the YouTube chat and Twitch, but yeah, for those who just came in, I am streaming on both Twitch and YouTube at the same time here. All right, not going to worry about that right now. Let's just go ahead and practice this day one because it's going to take a few attempts. So I'm going to just pause buffer here when I'm inside. Ideally, we do grab these parsnips here and then drop them outside. So that saves us a trip to go back inside. And then we place the bed there. I took one step there. So I will take some steps periodically. And every time I do, I'm going to have to mark it. So there we go. And there is a clay right there. And there's a couple more clay that we're going to get along the way. Right there and right there. All right. So now we're going to walk a little bit smoother. This is an animation canceling buffer walk that I'm doing here. So essentially, I'm holding down a hotkey, which triggers the R, delete, and right shift keys all at the same time, and then spam clicking my mouse button. And I think there's a clay here, and there should be one over here. And these I just have memorized now because I practiced this a couple times, but essentially, I wanted to dig up five pieces of clay before we got to the beach. If you look over to the map predictor now, and then we can start the pattern here. And essentially how the 69 pattern goes, I'll, I guess I'll explain it as I go along, but you see the clay in the bottom right of this little row here is where you want to start it. So yeah, let's head to the beach now. And we've got some, a few trash can stops along our way. We're going to pick up a cookie from Evelyn that she decided to throw out. And I think I stepped there. I'm not too worried about this first time because I know I'm going to be retrying this day, but it's definitely good practice to count each and every step here. Because I definitely think I heard a step there. And no, I don't think it was the trash can, hopefully, because you heard the trash can lid close and a step there. So I think that is one more there. The steps do sometimes periodically come up. So I'll have to make sure we account for those. All right, so now to the beach. I believe the pattern starts one tile underneath this pink starfish here. And so here's the situation I'm in right now and I have to figure out. So the way I have been, and I'll kind of just show this off now, the way I have been trying to clay farm without counting steps is something like this, um, where I'm using the cancel buffering, but it's it seems to be taking up more time than I want it to. So again, this is more for demonstration purposes right now. Let's so something like this where I go each and every tile like this without counting. Um without counting steps there because we're swinging the hoe in between. And honestly, the best way I can describe what I'm doing right here is I'm just holding the space bar down, periodically clicking my left click button, and then whenever I'm digging the clay is when I release it for a moment, and then I have to quickly get it back on. So it's really strange timings, feels kind of awkward to pull off, and I think it's taking more time than if I were to take steps here. So... The other option is pause buffering, and this way we wouldn't count step either. 
but I feel like that also takes up more time. I feel like the best way is just to take the steps, and in this case, we'll have to count them. But I don't think it'll be too difficult to count them, because we get into a rhythm here with the nine in a row play pattern. So I'm thinking just every time it will be nine steps. So I, I'll try this method first where I'm swinging my hoe and doing the animation canceling periodically. And then if we don't get, I think it's 300 clay. Yeah, we need 300 clay before, what time did I say? We need to get 300 clay before, I'd say two o'clock to be safe, because that gives us enough time to first go to the saloon, buy a single coffee, because we have this starting G. That'll make it so that we have plus two speed combined with the pepper poppers here when going up to the carpenter shop. Save us a lot of time there. At the carpenter shop, there are four leaks around that I want to grab and pick up for more energy while I'm up there. And then we'll stop to Robin, and that's when we should have the 300 clay to sell to her. And then we need to leave Robin's at 320. If we still have the coffee buff active, if we don't have the coffee buff active, it'll have to be more like 3, 3 o'clock or 310. So 300 clay before 2 o'clock I think is doable. But we'll probably have to give it a few tries here. So let's go with this method one more time and kind of go from there. So I dug up the nine clay tiles here. So if you look at the map predictor, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or the first one I clicked was the first one. So this is the ninth one we dug up. And then I believe the pattern resumes right here. And we go from there. So you'll kind of see how the pattern fills. Hello, PBJ Kerbo. Yep, I'm back on the grind. This is, um, I've already spent a lot of time practicing this first day, but I definitely will need a few tries in order to get this first day to work as I want it to. Again, I think the threshold is 300 clay before 2 o'clock is what we're aiming for, which should be doable. Maybe. We'll see. Anyway, something like this is what I've been trying to do. And it seems like we're going at a decent speed, and obviously I missed one there, so that's kind of worthy of a restart in itself, but this is more for demonstration right now. Now the next one in the pattern would be on this tile right here. I'll show it off on the predictor. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It would be right here. But we can't dig that tile so I have to find a replacement. Which I can do right here. And I did definitely... I meant to do the one to the right of me. That's all right. This is just practice. But even during practice, I'm going to count my steps. And I definitely took a step there. All right. So now we can pick off the pattern right here. We'll have to do eight in a row. Hey, that was a good catch there. I almost skipped that tile, which definitely easy to do when I'm doing it like this method without um, letting myself walk. So I th think the next one's right here, and I think we can do the full nine. And as you can see, at one step, 
Yeah, as you can see, it's really hard to pull off. Like, once I get into a rhythm, it's not bad, but it's really easy to mess up like that, and that was definitely a step there. Let's see. Anyway, if we get to the beach at 7 a.m. and need to leave by 2 a.m., Seven. To, that's five. That's like seven hours. So we basically want a hundred, like a little over a hundred clay every. Um. Two like and one third hours. So. Yeah, again, we'll we'll see how this goes. I, I think we can get that much clay, but I think I might have to actually let myself walk and just count the step, but we'll see. And another method could be just pausing as I dig up the clay, but I'm not sure if I'm actually using up time when I'm pausing the game intermittently like that, so... I also feel like it's not as safe. But anyway, we have one to dig up right here. We need to find a replacement for. I think this is actually where we have done four rows in the pattern. So after we do four rows, we have to after doing that ninth one, there would be one, two different spaces we have to um, till up before we can like fit the pattern again. So in our case, we couldn't dig that last tile, so we have to find three. But we can go... And where was that last one? It was here. We have to go one, two, three. Although we already dug those up, so I think we have to go one, two, three. Oh wait, no, that's the... Yeah, we must be here in the pattern, so... We go here. As you can see, I'm still learning the exact timings for animation canceling now, because I used to be using the pulse method where I would just press a button and wait a certain amount of frames in the script and then it would automatically cancel. But right now I am using the regular click button and then pressing my space bar, which just um, essentially presses the R, delete, and right shift keys at the same time. Which is a little bit trickier, but it definitely ends up saving more time since all the tools have different use times. Okay, so we did one, two, three there. So now our pattern resumes right here, which is one, two, right here on this little tile right here. And after I do the pattern for the first time, we can take a screenshot and add it to the predictor. And that was an accident on my part, I accidentally Killed those wrong two tiles there, so again, this is just for practice, and then we'll try for real after getting a little bit of practice in. So this tile right here is annoying because I have to find a replacement for, but I think this one's not too out of the way. So we can just conveniently dig up this one right here. And then we resume where we left off. I can't tell exactly what tile's next. I think it's the, yep, the one with the little grass on it. And then we need to find a replacement for this clay right here. And then I think that one we cannot till. I'll actually test that out. Um, right here. Oh, 
And then let's see if we can dig this tile. We can dig that tile. And then I think the pattern ends on this one up here. So we have to find one more replacement. And then we can resume it along that way. I'm planning to make a video soon, hopefully post it on Saturday, this upcoming Saturday weekend, where I'll go over my five strategies that I've kind of learned animation canceling and clay farming and a few others as well. So hopefully I can be a little bit more descriptive and well, not descriptive, but more concise in my explanations. It is the mouthful to describe all of this um, technical stuff, but let's focus back on the gameplay here because that's the goal right now. Get a little more practice in. Um, I definitely dug the wrong tiles there. But anyway, how the pattern would work is oops, I dug another one there. It would. Fill in this way, I'm pretty sure. So like this. And then start somewhere over here. Go like this. And then all the way up. And then it just kind of keeps going that way. And I definitely messed up this one here. So we're going to restart the day here. And I guess just try to do the run for real now because... I'm, I know if I take my time here, I can successfully do the pattern. So I think that's just going to be the plan here. I need to remember to put in the right seed. Load in. All right, so. Dig up five pieces of clay before the beach. So this is where it'll start on the map predictor there. And hopefully this time I remember to throw out my parsnips. Not throw them out, but throw them out of my inventory just in case. And I did take a step there. And that's two steps. One clay there. All right. I'm already messing up a little bit, so I'm going to restart the day. And that way, I don't have to take those steps either. But yeah, this day is going to take a lot of patience here. I have the patience, but I don't know if I have the, the skills to pull it off, but we'll see. Okay, the bed placing down makes a step noise, so it's definitely good I restarted the day because I don't think I ended up taking a step when I thought I had that other time. Okay. Over here, and I really got to give myself a little more time to let the whole animation swing down like that because I keep messing it up where I activate it and then press the animation canceling too early so it doesn't play out. All right. And then there's two more pieces of clay along the way we have to remember as well as these leaks. Walking around like this is honestly a lot more pleasant to look at than constantly pause buffering. I think it technically uses up a little bit of time because every time you use the tool in animation canceling right away, it is playing one frame. 
like every step you're sacrificing a frame, but I think it's worth it. Grab the cookie and again, it sounded like I took a step there. So let's go ahead and mark that down. Yeah, every time like you turn or change directions or anything, I think you need to click a little bit faster. We're at the beach now. I believe the clay pattern starts below this pink starfish, so I'm going to end up just kind of memorizing this first part, and we'll use the map predictor as we need to. But anyway, here's my situation that I'm still undecided on. Do I want to keep... Like, here, let's, let's try this. There should be nine steps I take right here, so... We start here. It'll be less than nine steps because I did those first two, but let me just let me just play this out and, and you'll kind of see what I mean. Of course I messed up that first time, but that was two steps. And then that was two steps plus I think like five or so steps. Um but here's the idea. We count the amount of steps we take there it should be an even amount every time because when we resume this pattern down here right here so i'm gonna ignore that step but three four five six seven eight nine you see what i mean and of course the clay pattern got off because we didn't dig up that one right there but it should be the same amount every time there would be there would technically be one here but let's, um, get the clay back here. And again, I'm going a little bit too fast on the trigger here. I also am kind of used to the pepper poppers, but I've been practicing a lot with those. And the timings are definitely a little bit different with those. But essentially, pattern continues like this. As you can see, I'm I'm more used to doing it like this, because you have to wait a little bit longer, I feel. So maybe I should end up just doing it like this. Or honestly, I could also just inventory buffer, so... I still really don't know which way it's going to play out best, but as you can see now, when I'm stepping, it feels like that way is going faster. And then our third option is like this, going like one, two each time, moving up here slowly, and then that wasn't it, but like that. And, and then so on. So seconds. All right, let's give it another try. I really just have to decide on a method and go from there. If the method doesn't work, then I try a different method. So let's try... Um, I don't know. Let's try counting the steps. But I feel like it's fastest. All right. Thank you. 
restart the day because I didn't do it perfectly. I mean, a lot of day restarts here. I still don't know if I need to drop the parsnip out of my inventory if we need space because most of the stuff we, um, what's it called, grab, we're going to eat anyway, so we'll, we'll see, but one more time, one more time, get it perfect. But yeah, for anyone here in the stream right now, this first couple hours of the stream is going to be me figuring out how the heck I'm going to pull off this first day because it's going to take so many tries. But I think it'll be worth it. Do I have my sound up? No, I don't. I guess this counts as a footstep noise for some reason. All right, and then we go over here. And see, even there, even right there, I didn't do it perfectly. I could have paused like a few frames sooner and save us some more time, but it's fine because I'm not going to be able to pause perfectly every time. Anyway, what I have to try doing now is facing this way and quickly getting away from those parsnip. I don't want them. Well, I do want them later, but I don't want them now. Let's grab our leaks. And then dig up our two pieces of clay along here. And that definitely requires a restart. Because our other clay's over here. I accidentally swung the hoe. All right, here we go again. Even something so simple as placing this bed takes a little bit of practice to get just right. Okay, restarting once again. This first part just needs to be perfect. After that, I'm definitely going to be more accepting of mistakes. But the first part of the day has to be perfect to get the amount of clay I want for enough money for the... 25 copper ore, a pack upgrade, two pepper poppers, and what else? As many coffees as we can get with that. I think the goal is 600 clay. And I think I took a step there. One more time. One more time. I know it's painful to watch just the same thing over and over again, but that's what we're going to be doing for a little bit, and then hopefully we'll get this going. Okay. That was a step, but that's okay. I mean, yeah, I already have the step counter at one, so that's our first step. Go over here. And that definitely... That's fine, but... 
essentially you'll notice I'm still getting used to the the timing on the animation canceling. It's definitely hard to pull off. It takes a lot of practice. I'm kind of trying to throw myself in this first day without much practice. I definitely practiced for like hours and hours already, but I guess there's really no limit on how much practice would get it to be perfect. I mean, an infinite amount of practice to get this first day perfect, but don't have the time. So, of course, we won't get the first day perfect, but we're still going to try to get it as close to perfect as possible. That's our second step. Two steps. I watch people practice segmented speed runs. This isn't anything yet. Apologize when you hit 1k restarts. Yeah. No, I definitely don't mind it. It's just I'm sort of new to the streaming, so I feel bad when I'm not doing anything crazy interesting, but I guess that's just how these speed runs and for this case challenge runs just the nature of them are. Just checking the YouTube chat here because they, they pop up on my alternate monitor, but I don't always see them. Um, hello, Bagel. You said you did your first min maxi run the other day. Got to Ginger Island by fall 8th. Nice. 500k in the bank. It's pretty good. And with the community center, that's, that's really good because community center... Um, you can't complete until like fall something's the earliest day, like mid fall. What do I hope for the 1.6 updates? I hope they don't get rid of all of these. Um, I hope they don't get rid of dynamic seeding and clay farming. And I don't think they're getting rid of clay farming, but I could see them patching like dynamic seeding and maybe some other things. But um, honestly, really haven't thought about what I hope from the update, but. I guess just new content. One thing for sure is um, that I want maybe more reason for the like festivals and events, like replayability for the events. Maybe um, the Pirates Cove, because once you go there for the first time and get your golden walnuts, you're done. Nothing else to do there. Maybe improving hoppers, like allowing hoppers to pull from a um, machine and place into chests, kind of like in how Minecraft toppers work. That would be cool. But anyway, let me make sure. Yeah, I definitely... Okay, I got five clay. Sold five dirt. The pattern starts right here. Got the pumpkin in the cart, so that's why you... Oh, you got in the... Nice. Yeah, because the pumpkin, I think, is that other limiting factor, because it takes, like, nine days to grow with Deluxe Speed Grow. Okay, so are we counting steps this time? I guess let's start down here, and I think if I start here, it'll end up being eight steps. I already messed up. We're going to restart. We're going to restart because of that. But I want to see if this is even, like, feasible because if it takes this much time every time, I don't think it's going to work out. And we should just go then with the, like, pause m method, so. So, it's supposed to look something like that. Of course, I should be digging that tile. I don't know why I keep missing that one there, but doing a little practice here. A 
Okay, on the other hand, we could do it like this. And this way definitely is a little more gimmicky and hard to pull off. But with this method, we don't have to count our steps. And the other problem is I think I'm using up too much time when I'm doing it like that. So what we can do is test it out real quick. So let's say I start right here when it hits 850. Okay, never mind, nine o'clock. See how many. Oh, but I got lucky with a little clay there. Let me try that one more time. I want to basically time how long it takes to do the nine, the row of nine. Or I guess see how many we can till in that time. So. Okay. We did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in ten in game minutes. So basically, we want to see if there's a big difference between that and doing it without um, animation canceling. Ten, ten. I forgot if I started at ten or ten ten. I think. Try it one more time. At ten thirty, we'll start. And go. So it's. It seems like it's about the same time. I think. I think what's killing me here is just which one's more consistent. And the other method will just for the heck of it try it out at 11 would be doing it like this. Which is definitely the most real life time consuming method. But if we could save the most in-game time doing it this way, then maybe it would be worth it. And it's already 11.10. So they're honestly all pretty indistinguishable in terms of how much time they take. So... From Twi um, Twitch chat, Sonata Spirit says, I hope they let us place carpet and tiles underneath existing objects in the update, which would be pretty cool, I think. All right, so anyway, if anybody wants to, because I'm indecisive. I don't know, so out of the three methods, and if for anybody who's been seeing these three methods, what do you think? What do you think's the way to go? What do you think's the best method here? Because I think there's benefits and negatives to all of them. I think that the pausing method is probably the most reliable and consistent, but it takes the most real life time. The, um, this method where we just do it like normally and let ourselves take steps is probably the quickest and saves us the most in-game time, but we have to count the steps, and I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. And then last option is the gimmicky method where I, you know, mess up half of the time going like this way. And wow, that was good timing. I got three pieces of clay there. Hello, Julius Roberts. Glad you can make the stream. We're just kind of doing a little practice right now. 
yeah, anyway, if anybody has any input to which method you think, because there's these three distinct methods here. And I'm basically trying to figure out which one to use. So we're definitely gonna have to restart the day. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Um, Placing the bed's probably the most stressful part of this run. Gotta get it just right. All right, we're off to a good start here. <laughs> if we place the bed successfully, we're we're doing well. Yeah, see, even just there, a little bit of a time loss because I didn't perform the animation cancels frame perfectly but it is inevitable we'll make mistakes so the goal is to just make as few mistakes as possible like that one's a restart of the day mistake but once we get those first five pieces of clay get the items from the trash can and make it to the beach might be a little bit better YouTube's giving me a weird notification here. Let me see what this is all about once I load in, just to get rid of the music, because it's a little loud right now. It's not a spirit. You say Habu Atan between two spots and hose twice. So like the pause buffering, like where you pause the game and then do two spots and so on. And I think that's going to probably be the best method. It just takes so much time. He doesn't pause. Oh, he doesn't pause though. Does he... Is he, um, taking steps? Like, is he step counting on the clay farming days or no? Oh, speed runs? Gotcha. Yeah, so speed runs obviously are gonna be a whole lot different just because there you're trying to minimize the real life time. Here we have as much real life time as we want to give up, I guess. I guess that's the whole idea, but that's one step. Gotta make sure I'm properly Updating my step counter here. Okay, so there's our five clay. And three leaks, and then our trash items. And then after that, We go to the beach. I'd really hope they get to the beach like before seven, but I guess there's really no way around that. Wish the saloon opened earlier. If the saloon opened earlier, we could get a coffee right away and speed things up, but 
don't think there's really any way around that. All right, what are we doing here? Map predictor. We told five dirt, so we start on one below the starfish. Alright, that's big time kill right there. But it really seems like doing the pause buffering might be the safest way. Because the other ways definitely would be nice in theory if we could pull them off, but I feel like this way is the safest. We can at least not have to pause buffer our way back to the next part in the pattern. That would be nice if I can do it like this. Not like, that was good timing. But um, what I mean is we're gonna restart this day, but rather than doing one and then pause, one and then pause, Maybe we can save a little bit more time by doing it like this, although I have to be super precise when I do it this way. So like that. See, it's hard to pull off that way though, but after a few times I should be able to get used to it. Yeah, I'm I'm wondering if I should just do one at a time. Just one pause, one pause, and then go on. Because I feel like I'm wasting time when trying to do it like this. And I had no idea those were going to be clays, honestly. But, yeah, there's a lot to think about. A whole lot to think about. There's a little bit faster way to load in, but I don't think there's any other way around that either. All right, let's get started. Let's put that back at zero. Right, Bagel, I just saw your message. In my opinion, do whichever feels easiest and most comfortable to you, even if it's less optimized, whatever time loss it may offset. Yeah, definitely consistency is a huge thing. It's not a spirit, says, pretty sure nobody here cares about how much real life time is lost. Yeah. That that is true. I have as I technically have infinite real life time, even though I don't. But the game doesn't know that. To get it perfect, I have to give as much real life time as is needed. So yeah, we're gonna try by just pausing and trying to be precise with our pauses, cause. If I do it quickly, if I press E to unpause and right after, hopefully like one frame after I click, then I have to wait a little bit for the hoe to actually be used. Then I press spacebar for animation cancel and E like maybe one frame after that. So Timing's definitely variable each time. I'm not going to get the timings exact every time because I'm a, or at least I don't think I'm a computer, but we will try our best to act like a computer and perform it at the same time every time. And oh, that bed is so stressful to place down. 
But yeah, I already feel... I just like doing one at a time rather than the two. I feel like I'm saving more time. Whenever I try to do more in between pauses, I feel like I screw it up, so. We'll do it like this. Honestly, going slow and steady will end up saving more real life time because we'll have to hopefully retry less times. Although right there was a little bit of a time loss, but it's okay. And I have to keep an eye on my energy when we get to 130 or 140 energy because these restore 130. When we're at 140 energy, we must eat the pepper poppers. What's good about that is it also significantly speeds up our clay farming process and saves us energy at the same time because we get the plus two farming levels rather than swing every time and using two energy per tool use, it turns into 1.8 energy per tool, per tool use. It's a mouthful of words there. All right, let's, three times in a row, let's, there we go. So it's really just getting these Timings, right? So ideally, I'm pressing the left click button and the space bar, like just a little bit of time, like there. And then the space bar to the pause key should be like almost instantaneous. Like that was pretty decent right there. Hello, not good I am. Hey man, I wanted to say I love your videos. The power outage soon, interesting. So, but I appreciate you stopping by. Um, appreciate the support. This is definitely going to take a little bit of support. Oh, I forgot to drop the parsnip seeds. Hopefully we can keep them in our inventory here. But yeah, I appreciate everybody who's stopped by. between all these chats is a little bit tedious, but I guess it's worth it to stream at the two places at once. Okay. So let's pick this back up here. Got one step, which is okay. As long as we hear the steps, that's all that matters. All right, we need a replacement now because we can't dig this tile right here. And I have not memorized exactly how the replacements work. So we've dug up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine was the last one we dug up. So then this should ideally be where we start, but we can't dig that tile, so we need to replace it with, I guess this one right here is good. And it was one tile below that, so that's a mistake on my part. I probably end up restarting this day because I still need practice, but I think it is probably worth it to keep practicing this day, even if I don't end up going with it, just because I may be practicing like the first part of the run, 
like this first hour like hundreds of times and never get to the next part and then when i get to that next part i screw up because i don't have the practice so i think it's good to keep going all right so again we have to find the replacement wait no we do not that one we can dig up i am pretty positive Got seven, eight, and then the ninth one we cannot till. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on the predictor. And since this is the fourth row, so you see how these kind of form four diagonal rows here one, two, three, four. After that, we go on to the second part of the 69 pattern. And after this last piece of clay right here, we would have to till two like other arbitrary tiles before we can move on to like filling the rest of this. In this case, we have to till three spaces. And so we did one, two, three, and then the pattern will fill in along this way. And it may seem like this pattern, you know, going all the way up and then having to dig back to the start might not be worth the the time, but I think it's the best pattern right now at least just because it really like fills in the space and it allows you to really use the space that you're given. So I think that's the main benefit of this. 69 clay pattern. The reason it's 69 is because it goes 9 times 4. And then you have to do the plus 2 arbitrary tiles. And then plus another, I think, 9 times 4 is... Or it's... Maybe it's 8 after that. Because 38 plus... 24. I don't know. I know the pattern basically repeats every 69 tile, which is why it's called that, but I'm not like crazy familiar with the pattern yet. I don't know where like all the replacements would be, so still have to use the map predictor here. I think this one right here and we go up forgot to animation cancel there because I'm focusing on this tile right here we have to find a replacement for but we already dug up well we technically didn't dig up this one although we were supposed to but in this case we can just dig up that tile right there and then finish off the pattern really hard to get these timings exact but anyway i think the pattern resumes after we do one two three and then let's see if we can get a reference point i think it should be yeah this tile is where we'll resume the pattern. So before then, we have to dig one, two, three tiles. We can go, I guess, along the way over here. We did the one, two, three, and now we can pick off the pattern over here. I 
and I keep screwing up the animation canceling here. Yeah, the the first part of the pattern's like super intuitive with like the four rows of nine, but then after that, it's kind of hard to understand, and I still don't understand it myself, so I really can't explain it much, but the goal is to fill in that space before you resume the next pattern. I'm kind of just learning it with the map predictor here. So we just dug up this tile right here. So our next tile is this one, but we can't dig up that one. So we need one, two, three before we can resume the pattern. So this tile this one right here and right here one two and then one two spaces right there is where we can pick off pick up the pattern Got one step there, but that's okay. We can't dig that tile, actually. It's our second step. Okay, so let's see where we left off on this pattern here, because it's, it's a whole lot to keep track of. We have to dig up this space right here. And another. And then I th think the pattern restarts now over here. Because we've hit the 69, I think. Maybe. I don't know. But it looks like the pattern will resume this way. And what I can do is take a screenshot now so we can load it in, get a little bit more visual on it. That's four, five, six. That should be on top of that pink starfish there. And then this one we cannot till, I'm pretty sure. The boat here. So we have to find, well, actually, let's go back to the start here. Let's um, load in this screenshot, I think. So yeah, we just dug up one. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right here. Hello, Adam. Why am I on the beach? So the beach, a um, couple of reasons. First of all, I am practicing, so I should eat the pepper powers a little bit earlier. But anyway, the idea is I'm running straight to the beach because I can pick up three leeks, a cookie, pepper poppers, and field snacks from the trash cans along the way. If I clay farm at the farm in the morning, it's going to be a bit difficult because I won't have these energy restoring items. I could technically do some clay farming on the farm first, but I think the beach should get me enough clay. The goal is to get, I believe, 300 clay before two o'clock. Two o'clock is when we rush to Robbins and sell the clay and then get to Clint's before four o'clock. 
There's some a few other stops along the way collecting forgeables and such, which is why we're leaving a good amount of time. But also these pepper poppers are essential because once we eat them, we're using 1.8 energy per use instead of two. So technically I should have eaten them at 140 energy, which I'll have to leave a note for next time. I'm just going to kind of finish off and see how much clay I can get before two o'clock first. You're going to do the farm. Of the yeah, I agree. The farm in the dark is awful, but the thing with the farm is I can't do it. I don't think the farm I can do quick enough to get the amount of clay I want because you have to avoid obstacles and clear at the same time. I'll definitely keep that in mind, maybe starting at the farm, but we're going to try doing this route first. And hopefully. Yeah, keep we're going to keep practicing here and see if I can get close to 300 clay before um, two o'clock. So let me grab the predictor again. I think we're looking for a replacement for this one. So we could go here. Well, actually, we could go here. Do one, two, three. And then the pattern resumes. We do one, two, and the pattern resumes. Right here. Here and then here. Definitely got to get used to using the pepper poppers here because we're going a whole lot faster now. The timings with the animation canceling are still the same, so I'm just I'm just bad at doing that, but the amount of time between pauses is gonna be a slightly more frequent. So we just did another nine clay. And I think or that I think that's the ninth one up there, which means the clay pattern picks up there, so we have to find a replacement for that one. And we can probably Do this one down here would be the best. And that was, an, that was a mistake there. I accidentally tilled an extra tile. So that means we're picking off on, I think, we just hold that one, that one. So we're right here now. And yeah, I'm really inconsistent with the animation canceling, so I definitely need to figure that out before I can make this first day work. I'm getting better, though, so I guess that's what matters. Um, the only thing here is, yeah, we have to find a replacement uh, each time. There, but that was the third iteration of the nine in a row. I believe. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit trickier, but it's gonna, it'll pay off in the long run. Gonna. Uh, in this screenshot here so we're at 95 clay i missed like a few so i think the last one we tilled was next to the boat here so we should be at this iteration right here takes a little bit for the screenshot the process but looks like it's done now all right So 97, I'm going to remember that number. So 
But I think, yeah, we go one more. We go one more row. And then this will start to fill in. It's kind of um, easier to see with the visual here. Let's go back to 97. We have to fill in two spaces, and then we can pick up the pattern over there. So down here should be good. Lots of time loss between the pauses that I still have to work out, but it is what it is for now. And for those who weren't here earlier, I was trying to oops, um, do a method where I was animation canceling and just going in a row without pausing. It was kind of hard to get consistent, but I did um, try that first in case anyone was thinking about that. A lot to keep track of here. Oh my goodness. All right, so we have to dig right here. Since we're left off, we have to dig one, two, two tiles before we get back on track. We can go these two down here. Wow, I'm really bad, really bad at the animation canceling. But that's okay. And just ignore that right there. If your screenshot isn't working, you can unpause and pause again. It helps that, yeah. The, the one bad thing about that is I'm wasting a little bit of in-game time when doing that, so. What I usually do is take the screenshot and then maybe like do a few more in-game actions, like a few more clay spots, and then load in the screenshot. All right, so I th think we're right here. We've gone up to the boat. And I think it's um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. And then the ninth one's there, and then oh, do we need one more? Yeah, we need one more before we can Pick it off, so I need to do. There's no good replacement tiles. Right here would be decent. It's so small. Yeah, no, I definitely. Yeah, ideally, you're using like maybe one frame if you unpause and repause it. So definitely a negligible difference. Um, and yeah, I can definitely see how it's important for the mines. Okay, so. Can't dig up this tile, so I think I'm just gonna have to do this one and this one. Oh, 
and then we can resume the pattern. Oh, I wanted to see how we were doing on time once I reached 120 clay, but I forgot to do that. Um, hundred and uh, we're a little bit behind, but still have to practice here for sure. So I keep going. Right, so there's one, two that we have to fill in before it resumes. Where can we do these ones? I th think these two tiles down here will be quickest to reach. So we got one, two, and over here now. We fill it and it's hard to see which tiles, but after I do that, or I'll take a screenshot. So it's one, two, one, two diagonally from that to right here, this tile. Yeah, the reasons we're behind on clay are for reasons like that, where I don't execute the animation canceling properly, and they just add up over time and make it so that we don't get as much clay in the, the amount of time we wish to. Anyway, there's one more clay here, and then believe the pattern restarts there. So, screenshot. See if we can load it in right away. Like it might take a little bit. Um, so that waster or muscle, muscle or whatever you call it. Let's play right there and grab that as well. Most worth it for the foraging XP, because honestly, selling it isn't going to make much of a difference, but we do get, I think, foraging XP from it. Right, let's see if we can load in our screenshot. There we go. And that's two patterns of 69 clay. So now it resumes going this way. Um, yeah, I think buying all the copper today is definitely feasible. Piano Addict was able to do it in his um, day one min-max, so I, I definitely think it's going to help on day two, because then we only have to make one trip to Clint's. We could also start smelting the copper like right away in the day, rather than having to wait for Clint's to open at 9 a.m., so I think it's going to be worth it. And we only have to pay 75G times 25, which is 1,875 plus another 25G for opening the geode for 20 more copper ore is 1,900. And already 143 clay is 2,860 G. So the requirements are... 1900 G for the copper plus the pepper poppers from the saloon, 400 G a piece, that's 800 G, puts us at 2700. So 
we've got the basic requirements, but it would also be nice to get a few copies. Um, the pack upgrade's also nice, so I'm gonna say add 2000 G for the pack upgrade is 4700. And then we already have 500 G, so I'm gonna minus 500. That puts it down from 4700 to 4200 G in requirements. I'm gonna solve my calculator right here. Um, and then basically, However much more clay we can get in that little extra window of time will be spent on coffee. Because we don't need any salads. We have so many forgeables that will be fine for day one. And then day two, we'll just eat um, fish. Because we'll be fishing. And then we'll spend some time maybe on day two on the farm. Doing some clay farming. Oh yeah, that's um a great question, Sonata, over on Twitch right now. So where did this 23 spring onions come in? My plan is, so I start at the farm, go to the beach like I did here, then go to the saloon, then to Robins. I'm going to grab four leeks up by Robins. Then I'm going to rush to Clint's, then back to the saloon for the pepper poppers and rest of the coffee, then to Pierre's for the pack upgrade. Then I'm going to go down to Cinder Sap Forest, grab the spring onions. Then we're back at the farm. And if we want, we can go up to the backwoods and grab two more leeks, but I don't know if it's worth it or not. We'll see. And then that's kind of like where we end the day back at the farm. And yeah, it's going to be really annoying clay farming in the dark, but we sh it should be possible. Especially if we're doing this pause method rather than going all at it at once. It should be doable. Oh shoot, hey piano, glad you could pop in the stream. Yeah, pack upgrade's definitely the main reason I want to get it for um day two fishing. Because all of those different items you get from the treasure chest, I'm going to need to be able to hold them. So we'll see. But anyway, let's get back to clay farming. And by that, I mean practicing. Yeah, that's true. A chest, and at some point I'll need to make a chest. I just don't know if it's worth it to chop down the trees for wood. I don't think it's worth it on day one, maybe towards the end of the day. But we'll see. I'm definitely going to retry this day because I'm not on good pace. I think I think in your min-max you were able to get like 150 clay before like 10.30 or something ridiculous like that. So. We'll, we'll see. I just, I need 300 clay before 2 o'clock, which I think is doable. 212 before, before 11.20, or what time? But anyway, let me see if I can continue this clay pattern right here as I do along here. We're at... I just loaded in the screenshot, right? <laughs> Getting distracted now. I think we're over here now. Oh no, I need one more. I think. Yeah, the screenshot should be up to date, so I think. We're at least at 143, and then did I till, okay, I did till this one, 
And then I think I was supposed to fill this one up here, but did not. So that's okay. Yeah, technically I need to till that one and then the pattern resumes nicely. Anyway, let's go back over here. Two hundred and thirteen clay at eleven thirty and Robin Clint Gus Onions farm. Yeah, I think I think if I remember right from watching your um run, I think you had to leave earlier just because you didn't have the extra energy. I think if I recall correctly. And then, yeah, and then you sold some clay to Robins later in the day to get, like, the salads and stuff. But I'm hoping I can eliminate that extra trip to Robins with all the extra energy I have here. So that, that's the goal, at least. Save time in that regard. But honestly, it's not worth it if I can't clay farm properly in the first place. So I gotta figure that out first. Single town trip at first, but didn't have enough early morning energy. Okay, 150 clay. So we, I got to the beach at 7 a.m. So that's four and a half hours spent here already. And I only have two and a half hours until I have to leave at two o'clock. So, we're not on pace. I need 150 clay before 10.30. Which, I don't know if that is feasible or not. I guess it also depends on how many coffees I want to buy. We'll get one on the way to Robbins, and then maybe one or two after that. Basically, coffee for going up to Robbins and coffee for going down to the spring onions. And then using it on the farm isn't probably a requirement. How much energy do I have total? Um, Let's see. So for this first part at the beach, it's definitely time's the issue, not energy. I have the initial 130 from the pepper poppers then I have three leaks here for 120 energy another 90 another 45 so 385 plus the 270 starting with so it's definitely enough for the amount of clay I am trying to get um and then for the rest of the day I have 23 spring onions. Some of them, I think like two or three of them might turn gold quality because I'll hit foraging level one. But even if I estimate it low and say, what is it, 13 energy each? Yeah. 13 energy each. That's another 299 plus one, two, three, four, six leaks at and one of them should be a gold star but leaks are how much are they 40 energy that's up to 539 energy now and i think there might be oh one more pepper poppers probably because i think this will wear off that's another 130 energy Yeah, 327 clay. I think the ideal number to go for would be... Let's see. 
It's 4700 for the essentials, everything except for coffee. And then at that point, it would be multiples of 300G. So oh, 4700 minus 500 because of the starting amount. And then one coffee um, will be required because I'm going to use it on the way to Robbins. And then one more coffee after that will be required for the spring onions. So really, it's only 4,800 G I need, um, like, for sure, I think. Yeah, that's right. So that's 240 clay, which at this pace I can definitely make. But it would be nice to have extra G for maybe one or two more coffees. Maybe I need some salads. I definitely need to calculate that. But yeah, let's. Adam from over at YouTube says, why don't you pick up the onions before going to the beach? Again, that um, going down there takes a lot of time. So I want to have double speed boost. So coffee and um, pepper poppers, and I can't get the coffee until 12 o'clock. So it just kind of fits better and saves more time if I do it later in the day. And we have enough energy during this early period to get us through. So it's really just performing the, or executing the clay part of it. The run should work in theory as I'm hoping it to, but I just gotta make a few mistakes here. So I think this is probably a good time to restart the day and go from fresh. I got a decent amount of practice in, so hopefully I can execute this clay farming a little bit better. So yeah, here's the other situation with it. When I'm clay farming here, do I want to do it like I'm doing, where I'm pausing every time? Or the other option is going like this. But I feel like feel like I'm wasting time when I'm doing that cancel there. But maybe it'll lead to less mistakes, because I don't have the pattern correct. But yeah, see, it's kind of inconsistent. Although I'm honestly thinking I've... I've pr off stream, I practiced doing it like this a whole lot because I figured it would be the best way to go. It's just inconsistent. Scano, you, know, you did a lot of silly walk clay on day three. Yeah, I remember you were step counting on day three. Once you get down, it feels better and doesn't waste too much time. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking because. My other idea was to just like do it the normal way, like this, and then I could technically count the amount of steps I'm taking, because if it's a set pattern, it should be nine steps each time, because I'm only taking one step in between each clay there. So I could add those to my total steps, but the the hard part about that is like, when we get up here and have to think about doing like replacements and all the obstacles in the way, so. So close to not taking a step per clay. Yeah, I'm not sure if the speed boost changes it at all, but I think it has been one step per clay. If I do silly walk, you can click just once between clay. Yeah, the the timing on the silly walk is... I kind of just throw myself at it. Like, I don't know how to explain how I'm doing it. I'm just kind of releasing spacebar. 
So it would be like and I took a step there. It's just really hard to get that right. Let me do a little more practice here and then I'll restart the day. Yeah, I think I'm swinging it maybe two many two two times instead of one. Facing the clay from the left if doing that. So probably there's a lot of yeah. So like like going like this. So I'll have to that's kind of tricky. I don't know. I definitely can pull it off when facing up, but facing it from the left seems to be... I guess... Oh, there we go. That's not... bad. Doing it like that. I'm running out of space to practice on here. Yeah, so that's ideally what it should start to look like. Okay, that's sort of getting the hang of it. Um... I still have the seat on my clipboard. But we'll... We'll just... Restart the day, throw myself at it, and... See what happens. I'm not... Too worried about... The... The rest of the day here. Do I have clipboard history on? Um, that's a good question. Windows plus V? Does that, um, issues? What does the window plus V do exactly? Hello Dimitri over at YouTube, glad you could make it. Hope you had a great week too. Windows plus V. Does that pause the game? Oh, opens clipboard history, so when you copy something else you don't delete the other clipboards. Oh, maybe I'm in full screen, so it's not popping up anything for me. But no, definitely thank you for the tip. I'll have to look into that. I mean, even just outside of Stardew, for whatever purposes, it's nice. But anyway... Get restarted here with this day. Yeah, that's what's allowing me to get all this energy on the first day. Yeah, no, it's, um, I don't know. I don't know if it's considered too much cheating or whatever. I guess I could, I guess I get to make my own rules for it, but. I find it interesting. I feel like I'm already trying to go all out, so might as well use whatever strategies exist. Basically everything except for um, anything that modifies the game in itself. And then obviously down the line, I probably won't do like using the casino to get infinite money because that's no fun or scamming Pierre or anything. So 
guess that's kind of where my rule sets at, although I haven't really defined it clearly. But anyway, steps are back at zero, clay back at five. Break 81 mil. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, in the end, just for fun. Um, I do wonder with the 1.6 update coming out if that, if Concerned Ape does plan to patch any of like those sort of bugs, because I'm assuming he's not going to patch like animation canceling or clay farming, but I wonder if like dynamic seeding is one of them. That he would. Pierre deserves it. Yeah, Pierre definitely deserves to get scammed. I'm restarting the day again because I can't for the life of me animation cancel. To be fair, I did practice quite a bit, but obviously, I need some more practice. My goal here before I finish streaming is to get one day one accomplished. Just one, where I get the amount of clay I need in the morning. I think it's like 200 something. And then we'll go from there. Oops. I did not. Well, that was one step right there. I'm trying to throw these parsnips out. I need to do it like that. There we go. Alright. So that's what I have to remember to do there. One more time. Downward cancels are rough. You know, I haven't actually noticed. Are they... Are the length of the animations different depending on which way you're facing? Because I don't know the exact frames they all play out for, but I definitely wouldn't be surprised if, like, facing downwards was different. Or maybe it's just harder on the three frames slower. Oh, okay. So. Gotcha. I guess that. So I have to give myself a little bit more time for the downward ones. Four. Facing upwards and to the right, which is the two options with clay farming. Um, is there any difference between facing up and towards the right? I guess technically I should face whichever way will save me the most time. I step? Was it the trash can or did I actually step? I think it was the trash can. <laughs> I know the trash cans are so I I'm pretty confident I didn't step that would be funny though if I didn't I ended up doing great on this iteration of the run and didn't get my max luck the next day Right, I did not animation cancel there, if anybody noticed, so that's okay. Always review VOD, yeah, it's true. Well, I'm pretty sure I... Pretty sure the sound is slightly different than that. I think it's the trash can I heard, so... Is there a way to easily review um 
on the VOD on Twitch. So, so basically, I'm I'm very new to streaming on Twitch. I've done a few live streams on YouTube Live just because my main thing was making videos, and I still wanna. I'm gonna. My goal is to turn this run into nice cut down edited videos so I can get the min max um I guess category across to a wider audience of people. I guess that's kind of my goal right now. But in order to pull that off first, I do need to spend a lot of time getting this run as perfect as possible. And while I do that I might as well stream it. So I think I can look back on YouTube Live pretty easily and confirm it was the trash can. Got it. Yeah, I wonder why all of these um sounds are considered footstep noises. Like I I understand um they're kind of all like a similar category where they're kind of like sounds that have to do with like. You know, you know, I was about to say, like, the UI, but we can hear the trash cans outside close. We can hear moving through crops and the spring onions and tall grass, so. I'm not actually sure if there's a better way to categorize those sounds. All those little time losses, but that's okay. All right, let's go right at it. Oh. You see, this is definitely a mistake worth restarting because this is, first of all, the pattern's gonna eventually fill that space, so I have to deal with that when that time comes, and also, in order to fix it, I'd have to swing, reho, and I lose that clay anyway, so. I really have to, I don't know. I don't know what's better, to do it like this? Or face. Facing to the right's really, really tricky for me for some reason. I guess that wasn't too bad right there. Sandy prefer silly walk. I mean, here's the way I look at it. I, the silly walk definitely is more visually appealing, definitely less in-game time, or I mean, what do you call it? Less real life time. But if I'm gonna end up messing it up, then I'll probably be saving more real life time if I just do the, just go slow and steady route with the um, pause buffering. Oh, another thing, um, the bed makes a noise when it's placed. I gotta give myself a little more time for that one. I think after I dig these two up, I face this way. And then since I have this little fiber here, I don't actually move that way at all. Saving just slightly more in-game time while I throw that out and get away from it. Every little optimization counts, even though that definitely doesn't make a difference. Little bit of a 
mistake there, but that's okay. Silly walk for movement and buffering for the actual hoeing, says Bagel. Um, yeah, for sure. I'll definitely do the silly walk like this when I'm like moving from point A to point B, as well as like when I finish the row of nine of the clay and then go back to the start. I'll definitely be doing it like this. But I guess during the actual clay hoeing part of it, I'll just end up pausing. So in that case, what I need to get right is the time it takes to press the E key to unpause, press my left click button to actually activate the tool use, and then press space. Ideally, perfect amount of frames, but that's what I still need to get right in between the left click and the space. And then space and pause are like, one right after the other. So that's pretty easy, but the timing in between the tool use and the animation canceling is very tricky for me. And right there, I think, was I facing down? Maybe that's why the first time I wasn't able to do it. Because ideally, I stand like here, face to the left. Huh. I don't know. Definitely a lot of trial and error and getting used to it. Ever tried journal buffers? Well, they're super hard to execute, but can be a bit easier. Um. Like timing wise, so I've done it in the mines before when I'm like loading in the screen. I hold down, I think, the C key and like right click over the journal icon or something like that. Like that. I think I have to hold the C key. Uh, sorry for, sorry for the flashes there, but um, I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. But I think that requires holding down. A cursor over here, which is, I don't know, if that makes it more difficult to aim my hoe at the right place for the clay or not. So much to think about, but that's okay. I'm facing down for this one, I gotta give myself a little more time. Ah. I did two rows in, what, 40 minutes, which is definitely seems slow. Not just for step cancels, it's F then E, either then E double tap. Okay, I see what you mean, because it's, yeah, because you don't actually have to, on the physical keyboard, let the E key come back up and... I see what you mean. So it would be like, like that. Okay. Again, sorry for the the flash from changing the screen so much. The slight dim on the background here, I guess, really, really shows the brightness contrast difference because I can see the over on my second monitor over there the screen flashing. Okay, I need a replacement clay. And yeah, I have not learned um exactly where the replacements are, so that's definitely something I probably should learn. Um let's uh reset this map before I get too confused. Be... Oh, it's 
the wrong one. There, this is the first pattern. Yeah, I think it definitely just because of all the constant pausing, or may at least um maybe an option to be able to turn it on or off. Just because the casual player definitely won't notice it, but I guess in these challenge runs, um, being able to opt into an option to turn it off would be nice. All right, so anyway, where am I on the pattern here? Yeah, so this one we can't till. So I think I want to go for this one because this one will replace this one later down the line. And going like this is probably better than going like, I don't know. It makes sense in my head. Although I've already came all the way this way now. Keep forgetting when I'm facing downwards, I need to give myself a little more time. It's definitely something to keep in mind. Yeah, I feel like when I'm doing it one at a time here, I'm doing it slightly better than trying to, um, let's see if I can explain this how I want to. So the one way is to stand right here till to the left and then till to the top right and then walk to the next tile like that. Or I could just do one at a time, but I think this way is probably a little bit better. And ideally, if I could just do two in a row without pausing, it'd be nice. But for some reason, I can't get that second one, the timing right. Um, so where are we? We're at... 40 clay, and I don't think I missed any. I did definitely use a tool use on that last one there, which I think used up some energy. Left three down nine is a good replacement rather than left 10. So that means... So if I'm here... This is the one I need to till left three and then down nine. Is this nine tiles? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's the one down below that you did before. So is it on the So if this one's the one I need to replace, I mean, I definitely don't want to go to the right. So I think probably this one right here. Oh no, don't, <laughs> don't apologize. I definitely have much to learn about the clay farming pattern still. I was trying to figure out, um, yeah, I guess this one would definitely be better to grab than this one. I mean, intuitively, just by visually looking at it. But um, on the one that I was looking at before, I didn't want to till one of the ones here just because I know it'll, I'll need to till it when I have to till this little space right here, if that makes any sense. And I think it's this one. And after that one, 
Oh, I need one more. And then I can pick up the pattern, I think. Yeah, because for some reason, I guess that one doesn't show anything. One step there, because I didn't get to my keys fast enough. The nine times left two will trend upward, so you'll have, yeah, because I know the play fills in eventually up to the left, which is how I've been doing it, so. Alrighty. Think I need think I need a replacement for this tile, but let me double check. Yeah, I'm pretty positive this one right here needs a replacement. So I need I think this is the point where I go one, two, three. And then it starts to fill in this middle part. See, the, the, the pattern definitely, parts of it definitely make sense. It's so hard to explain. And I want to figure out a way to explain it, because I'd love to make like a video on it. But it's so hard to describe this pattern. Like, But anyway, right here, I, I know it's one, two, three, and then it picks up down here. Usually do four nines, then two, then fill in three times nine. Yeah, so I think that's what's going on here, because I think this is the ninth one, the ninth clay of the fourth iteration of the, the nines. And then I have to do two over here, but I have to replace this one. So I think I have to go one, two, three. this way facing downwards again all right so oh shoot I see what I did um Oh no, I'm I'm good. I think I think I need to do one more and then it starts to fill in here. I think I was getting this pattern working pretty well earlier, so Yeah, I think I skipped um Filling in one of this part here. Yeah, definitely a screenshot's a good idea. I always delay the screenshots too much. But anyway, we're definitely on this iteration because I just filled that tile right there. And let me see if pausing and unpausing helps at all. It always takes a few moments here to load in the screenshot. I still have no idea what um actually makes it take so long to for I don't know if it's the screenshot rendering or if the Predictor. No, I, th I don't think it's the predictor. I think it's just the screenshots taking a little bit to render or something. Okay, there we go. 
We got it in. So. So I, I know I did two extras down here, but I guess um I need to find one clay and then I can kind of fill out the pattern. This one. I guess I'll pick up the muscle now. Good for forging XP at the very least. And then I can, yeah, I'm not sure if it was supposed to fill in this row here or not, but the pattern will definitely pick up on this tile. Step there. I think we're right there. Okay, so we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then it should go eight, nine, but we can't till those two tiles. And then after that, it picks up along there. So our replacements are, I, I, we could go these two right here, but I think it might be better to go downward. I guess right here and here. Oh, my left pinky is always by my shift key, so every once in a while, when I'm trying to walk, I accidentally hit it and then slow down. Let me get back on track with this pattern here. And then I can't till the top tile. Yeah, I think there's two more there. And our 69, the pattern will complete at, I think, um, 74, since we did the five tiles on the way. So from here... Yeah, we can't tell that one, so we have to go one, one, two, three down there, which should be doable. Yeah, I think I messed up the pattern because I thought I was supposed to fill in um, these spaces here. It's not too big of a deal as long as I'm still like getting the amount of clay I want to in the desired time. Five times nines to start. Yeah, that's what I. That's what must have happened. Because I started. Well, I didn't start on these two right here. I did one, two, three, nine. And then two, three, four, and then five. Because this is the one that's throwing me off because I don't see that um one right there. So yeah, that was definitely. Honestly, I should probably just restart the day. I mean, I can definitely continue the pattern, but I remember how I was originally planning it. It fit nicely when I did it the right way, so I don't know how this pattern's going to end up looking in the end. But at the same time, I have quite a few... I had quite a few time losses on that one anyway that I can definitely make up, so definitely worth the restart.
Did I ever get a chance to... Yeah, I definitely was practicing with the clave map mod. It helped a whole lot. Um, that's how I, like, learned the 69 pattern, but it's... I think what's, um... I think this what's, um... I guess getting in my way is just the execution of the animation canceling. Because the... Because I can use the predictor to pick up the pattern and kind of keep going with it, but... Run through the day without pauses or step counts. That is true. Well, I'll give it one more try here, and then if... I do end up, like, making a big screw-up, I will just go throughout the rest of the day. Because I already know this is going to take... Lots of attempts. Mainly because I'm... I learned animation canceling, the proper way of animation canceling, the non-pulse method, um, I don't know, it was a few days ago or whatever, so. Uh, yeah, there is a trash geo that gets me the 20 copper, so that saves us 1500g, which is a pretty good amount. Yeah, no, it's so that's 1500 G is the value of that geode. It's crazy. And the forgeables are nothing to laugh at either because every leak is like, what, 40 energy? And then, I don't know, it, basically, I, I won't for everyone with doing the calculations right now, but money not spent on salads is a good thing when we can get the energy from other means. All right, throwing the parsnips out and going along my way. Uh, once I get to a pause, I'll reset my step counter. So I'm pretty sure that's still at like two steps or something. I like to grab these three parsnips though, just without pausing. Um, this one right there, I always forget exactly which one it is. But the main reason I am um digging up these few pieces of clay along the way is just where the start of the clay pattern sets up is a little bit nicer if I do end up um starting at five dirts tilled. Me update the steps before I forget. Zero. Still wonder if it'd be worth it to count my steps while clay farming. It's just a lot to think about all at once. Yeah, because any because the leaks are oh the leaks are really good because they're forty energy, and I think like the, I think the dandelions and wild horse the wild horse radishes are like thirteen energy, which is really bad, because that's a spring onion and we get like twenty three of those so. The leaks are, definitely crazy strong. Oh, so much to keep track of. I keep getting disoriented. Yeah, the first part of this pattern is pretty... It lines up pretty nicely because I'm able to do an initial an initial oh, I must have not animation canceled there or something I don't know what that was about but I can fit in an initial nine here that's gonna require a restart but yeah um it should line up like this 
If we look over at the map predictor, start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we have to find a replacement for this one, which is fine. And then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It fills out. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Replacement for this one. We go one, two, three here. One, two, three. And then it fills out. So yeah, that's that's the goal there. Alright. Run that back one more time. And, and if I make a mistake like early on like that, I'll go ahead and restart the day just because I might as well. But if we get like the amount of clay I want and then make a big mistake later in the day, I will finish the day out and live with mis the mistake. And then it, I guess it depends on the mistake or how much I mess up. We'll tell if I actually redo the day or not. But that'll be the goal for this stream to actually I gotta I gotta put all my focus into that downward that downward hoe because I mess it up like half the time I try to do this Okay. There we go. That was that was fine. That was not fine. Again, I think it's good to get this first part perfect because the time loss of restarting is so minimal. Like I might as well restart because we're already so close to the start of the day, but once I get to the beach, if I make a couple mistakes, it's okay. Basically, the longer we are into the day, the more accepting I will be of my mistakes. But before then, especially in this first part, we have to get it perfect. Grab the leaks. One step. Two steps. Huh, I must not be clicking fast enough. I got out of rhythm there. I mean, that's fine. It's definitely, because I definitely heard those steps, so it's like no big deal. I'll have to mark them down, but. Definitely when I'm like turning stuff I have to click a little bit faster so I guess I just got out of rhythm so let's go ahead and write two steps and then hope for a good execution of this pattern on the beach. Did I? Oh. I forgot the... I forgot the clay's over by the bus stop. Once I load in, I'm gonna take a quick Quick drink of water here. Resume in one moment. All right, let's get to it. Uh, 
The other thing I do have to remember is the more tries I get, like I guess this kind of goes with anything. Like when you're working out at a gym and wearing yourself out, that was one step right there. I'm going to take one more step. Now I'm at two and I don't have to update the thing. But like when you're like with anything in life, when you're learning something, working out at a gym, um, wearing out your muscles, trying to build them back, there's a certain point you can push yourself to before your gains start to become losses. Because you definitely want to like push yourself to your limits, I, I guess. I mean, everybody has different limits, but basically what I'm trying to say is after a certain number of restarts, I probably am going to start getting worse, my gameplay, and I should probably call it at that point whenever I get to that point or else I'm just not going to be making any progress whatsoever here so I'm going to commit to one step there but I'm going to commit to this run will be the the last attempt of the day and Play the day all the way out. So basically, I'm going to live with any mistakes I make. Just see how much clay I can get. Because most likely, I've definitely been a really hard on the mistakes I've been making. I think that it won't be too hard to get enough clay to afford everything. I just want the extra clay for more coffees. But the coffees aren't necessary, per se. Like, I can definitely get two coffees, but I would like maybe more than that for, like, day two. But we'll see. That was one step. Four steps. Focusing so hard to try to get these plays correctly. So far, we're off to a decent start. And I really have to remember um, my energy here. So 270 minus 130 energy is restored from the pepper poppers, which means that 140 energy, we need to eat it. And if we divide it by 2 energy per use it means when we're at 70 clay at 70 clay we have to eat the pepper poppers all right steps three uh Okay, I'm not going to restart the day. Okay, this is, um... I kind of want to bring up this point, because it's an observation I've been making, but... When I till, like, a tile, like, right here, it actually counts as an iteration on the predictor, which I find interesting, because it doesn't actually till anything. But say we're at... 17 clay, right? So the next clay, I think, is going to be, like, up here now, right? So that means we're at 18. So if I till, like, this tile right here, it doesn't do anything. But if I till, like... So the next one in the clay pattern should be right here. And if we come back down here, um, that's just a space I can't host. So the next one would be here. 
here. But look, if I till it here, it counts as a till, which is interesting. So, the tiles that have hoable dirt but with a decoration on top count as a till. So, the right side of the boat has the darker untillable soil. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, so this would count as well. So I guess, say, if we're in the middle of a clay pattern and there is a clay that's like weight, like the replacement would be way too out of the way, I guess in some cases actually just hitting them might be more worth the time. But that's definitely something to consider. And I know I said this was going to be the actual, the last attempt, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to say that many times. This one is going to be the real last attempt. Basically, because I did want to get to the bottom of that, um, whatever you want to call it, observation. Okay. There you go. I think that's the best job I've done at the first not even 10 minutes in game and i do need to s do the steps back at zero although i should maybe actually walk some steps um, let's just do like 10. Cause this way we're not having to scramble to walk like 311 steps at the end of the day. Another 10. Another 10. We're at 30. Moving bottom right diagonally is always tough because I have to press the E key and then like Usually I use my pointer finger and like pivot between the E key and D key, so I have to it's a really awkward arrangement. And it ends up I don't know, sometimes wasting time. That was definitely a step there. So we're at 31, so let's take nine steps. Which puts us at 40. Go below the pink star fruit. Yeah, really, I think I just need to take my time here with the clay farming. There we go. We successfully hoed 14 clay. Okay. It's awkward. I'm at that point where I feel like my fingers don't have the movements ingrained in like muscle memory yet but they're like starting to get that so like half the time i'm subconsciously like performing the keystrokes half the time i'm still like mentally trying to focus on it and then it kind of interferes with each other almost so i'm getting to that point where like it's causing me to mess up 
quite a bit. Okay, there we go. We got the second part done. And this is where we have to find a replacement, which we can do maybe this one, although this one, once we get to this one, I want to I guess go here, then there. So we'll go right there. And we're digging downward, so give myself a little extra time there for the animation cancel. And we should be on to the next iteration. This is the third one. One more up. No, we can't till this tile. We can till this one down here or this one. I think we want to go for this one. Saw there I was holding my shift key on accident. Uh-oh. All right, time to backtrack a little bit here. I'm not going to restart the day because of that, although I am tempted to. But... Oh, shoot. I forgot to iterate the clay there. So... Oh, this one is actually tillable. So whatever, basically, I lost one clay there, and, and I accidentally toted this, so I'm, I'm one down, one clay down in the hole, so that's fine. We'll pick back up over here, because I can till that one. Then after this one, we'll be filling in the pattern. It's really difficult for me to get these timings down. Okay, so this one we go one, two, three, and then we resume the pattern. So it's not too bad. So one, two, three here. be 39 and then yeah one two three starting here I had to double check I got that right but hey taking a lot of time now to make sure I'm like on the right clay is better than having to restart the day so Okay, now that looks good. We've dug those three, and then we're going to fill in the pattern over here now. So one is this one right here. This is where we have to 
replace the pattern right here. Got that one memorized at this point. And then this is where we have to replace one here. And then we can till that one up there, I think. And then after that one, it restarts. Okay. Voice starting to get a little bit itchy here, but I just expected I've been talking for quite a while. Oh. <coughs> yeah, quick water break here. All right, let's get back at it. It's hard talking to myself for four hours straight, but expected. Bagel says, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. That was a saying I heard a lot in the army. Only go as fast as you can accurately or don't. I'm not your boss, I'll no, I definitely take that advice to heart and agree with it. Because again, if we go slow and steady and don't make mistakes, then we only have to play the day once. If we try to do it faster and end up making mistakes that require us to having to restart the day, then we end up making um taking up more time. So definitely words of wisdom right there. But damn, I really gotta, I'm gonna grind out the rest of this day and then I'm done streaming and I'm gonna get some food cause I starting to feel a little bit of fatigue, but it's okay. Cause I am determined to finish this day right here. Okay, anyway, what we're doing right now is finding a replacement for this tile right here. Right? Am I going crazy or is that what we're doing? Yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> so that saying is also in Stranger Things. Huh? I never actually have watched Stranger Things, but that's good to know. Okay, please be clay right here. Okay, thank you. And then this tile right here and then I think after that one it resumes. No, we need two more. And we can't till that one. So we can go this one. And then down here. Ah! <laughs> I accidentally um slipped my finger off of the space bar, so I ended up Tilling an accidental tile right here, but that's okay. We just add one to the amount tilled and then pick up where we left off. Which is this one. Um, I have to, again, every time I do this, every time I till a clay, I have to think to myself, okay, I unpause, click, spacebar, repause. Okay. 
Yeah, that would be um what I was talking about a little bit earlier. Oops, I was supposed to till that one up there, but that's okay. What I keep noticing is the every time I pause that flash, that would be great in the 1.6 update if the background didn't dim in the menu. But anyway, let's figure out where I messed up in the clay pattern. I think I ended up digging this tile. Um, oh, I ended up digging this tile instead of this tile, even though I can't dig this tile. So technically we did this iteration. And then resume over this way. Just take a screenshot. It's about time to take a screenshot. Um, Fancy says, is there some way you could pull step count directly from game files instead of manual counting? So in this run, I'm not using any mods, so that's a big part of it. I can't use any mods to step count. Um, looking in the game files would be fine, but the game file won't save until the end of the day, so I can't actually see the steps until the end of the day. So as we're going through, really the only thing I can do is count. Which I know is tedious and who knows, it might not even be worth it this first day, but I think having the having that um that maximum luck on day two for treasure chests is gonna be worth it. So we're gonna keep trying this until we can do that. Looks like over on Twitch, Hacksor333 is raining with a party of two. Thanks for coming in. Alright, so hopefully that little interlude there gave us enough time for the screenshot to render and we can load it into the predictor. So where are we? Right here. Or we're not there. So I gotta do a little more backtracking. I think if we skip ahead a few tiles here. 66. Let's try this one. All right, I'm, I said I wasn't gonna restart this day, so I'm not gonna restart the day, but I do need to figure out where this clay pattern left off, so. Underneath the let's see. So we have fifty-eight clay, so it has to be above fifty-eight. And we definitely missed a few tiles there, so we probably dug up that one, right? And then this one we skipped. So we're somewhere over here. Here's what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be way less than ideal, but I'm gonna skip ahead a few tiles and just, oh, I can't dig that one. And digging those two tiles probably did more to the iterations. So let's just go ahead and restart the pattern. I won't restart the whole day, but we'll restart this pattern right here. And 
I have to dig it a few times to ideally get that clay. Okay, so I must be way ahead. So we are going to restart this day. I'm sorry, but I have to at this point because this losing this clay pattern was way too big of a loss. But let me check back into... And she says, are you planning another full to your min max ever using different strats based on what you learned? Um, so this one's definitely not going to be a full two year run. It might be at the most one year, but I haven't really decided yet. I'm most likely going to, I feel like min maxing during spring is the most interesting, most technical. I want to see how quickly I can complete the Joja Center, how quickly I can unlock Skull Cavern, how quickly I can unlock Ginger Island in spring. Um, so Stardew-wise, that's probably what I plan to do. I'm going to still make videos, maybe some more informational and guide type videos. I plan to, by Saturday, upload one that'll be like five min-max strategies where I go over the ones I use for this run. So basically animation canceling, clay farming, um, step counting and dynamic seeding. And I think restarting the day is the other one that I included in there. So that should be that should be, I don't know, I'm, I'm looking forward to finishing up that video. That should be a good one. I need to stop talking for one second here so I can get this first part, because this first part of the day is the hardest for me for some reason. And I'm going to restart one more time because I have no idea if I took a step there or not. That was not a step, that was me placing the bed there. Every time I swing the hole like that, that's a restart. If you've noticed, I'm not good at this first part of the day. But once I get going, it'll take a little more time. Or take our time, or whatever. Uh, I placed the bed in the wrong position. That's okay. I keep swinging there. I'm not holding the space bar because I'm doing. I'm trying to do the animation canceling walk, but I'm not holding the space bar. Honestly, I should just pause buffer the whole time. Now, once I get to town and stuff, it's easy to do the animation canceling walk. It's just these small steps that are tough. Alright, so... This first clay the hardest because I'm facing downwards and the downward hoe swing is slightly longer animation than facing any other way. Okay, we're off for the spring onions now. One step there. Update my steps in one moment. I'm going to take nine steps there. 
and then I'll update it to a nice even 10 steps. So 40 was from the last attempt. Twenty steps there. Grab our food from the trash. We got one step there. Let's do nine more steps. For a total of 40 steps now. All right, let's put the map predictor back to five. Let's see if I have a screenshot where I don't, I guess that last one's probably best. I'm trying to, that's yeah, fine. Trying to find if I had any screenshots that don't have a lot of the space filled out already, but it's okay. That's one step right there. And then let's just, I guess, get started with this clay farming pattern. I'm gonna take a couple more steps to make it a even five steps and then put us at 45 steps. Okay, so below the pink starfish, and then we work our way off of that. I made a Oh, I just can't get these timings right for the life of me. All right, we're going to move to this space now. Let's take five steps. Just because I want to be at a nice even 50 here. All right. One clay at a time. This is how we're doing it. Uh, I don't know why I can't get that right. One step there. Let me mark that step before I forget. I can tell I've certainly reached that point where I've been playing for a long time and beginning to make quite a few amount of mistakes. So we'll see. <laughs> I'm going to keep going with this day. It's okay. Okay, because I'm still where did I where did I go wrong here? I thought this tile was the one to dig up. Yeah, if you ever want to attempt a min-max run, I definitely recommend not step counting. I think step counting is probably what makes it way unnecessarily difficult, but I at least want to try to successfully complete this first day with step counting so that we can get lucky on the second day. Here's what we're going to do. 
I am determined to get this first day right. What I'm going to do is take a step away for maybe five minutes, come right back, and give it one more attempt. But maybe just taking a step away from it will make the difference. So let me quickly put some text up on the screen. Watching Blade's Penny Percent run. I have to I have to watch the VODs for that. Cause this first day, um so I watched his YouTube video, but I haven't watched like the full stream VODs, but I definitely have to check those out because I bet it's um I bet it's exhausting. But I think you know, there's a lot of in game strats. Like sure I can do like get to a certain point in game, but there's a lot of real life strats as well. And I think taking strategical breaks might might help. Who knows? I don't know. All right. Um. So right. <laughs> Play a bit of Elliot's theme on the keyboard. One day maybe. But I have to figure out how to connect the, cause it's um it's a controller, so I have to figure out how to get the audio to. Well, I could record my desktop audio technically, but I'm gonna say be right back. Oh no, my text over here changed as well. Huh. Strange how the texts are different like that. Even from the YouTube vid seemed pretty easy to <laughs> derail. All right, yeah, same here. Be right back. Let me pause my video.
I am back. Hello, everybody. So, my mental game is definitely good. I am ready to complete this day, but my physical execution is where I'm lacking, so hopefully the little bit of water helps, and we're gonna try again now. Alright. I'm gonna be... Oh, before I get started, let's um get rid of this be right back sign almost. I was too excited to get right back into it that I completely forgot about this. Change it back to steps. Three hundred and eleven, right? Pretty sure. Place that down here. Can't make it any smaller. Okay, there we go. That looks all right. Double check that 311 is the amount of steps. And I guess I haven't really gone over this in this stream. I did it in the last stream. But let's take a quick look at our spreadsheet here. I have to move it above the map predictor and me. Well, maybe not above me. That's fine. Let's take a quick look at this. So. 200 steps, so any additional steps after that, I think it's 111. Yep, so that's 311 steps we walked today for 13 spicy eels sold by the saloon. And perfect daily luck. So... So yeah, that's why I'm trying to walk 311 steps today, because that... Should help us out on day two. We'll see. Anyway. Let's go ahead and try to execu um, execute this big plan of mine, I guess. I see the vision for this first day, but definitely taking a lot of... um. I guess practice. So, one more time, just because I want to make sure I got the seed in and didn't take any first steps when I went out of bed there. Because that save file music plays and I can't hear if I take a step or not. So right there, I definitely did not take a step, so we're good. I did take one step there, which is okay. Let's take a few more steps. So that's nine plus the one in the house, which is at 10. All right, let's grab these leaks. Get our initial five clay here. So we get a nice pattern when we get to the beach make our way over to Evelyn's trash can to steal her cookie. 
And we get a pepper poppers from this trash can. And a field snack from Lewis's trash can. Now we make our way down by the beach. And we have dug five tiles. One step there. Oh, that was 10 plus the one. Let me double check that actually. Okay, yeah, so that's 10 more steps. Sorry, I was looking back at the live stream playback to make sure I took 10 steps there. Let's update that. And get started with the clay pattern here. Step. All right, we're already off to a pretty bad start here, but maybe I'll get into a rhythm here. As long as we don't make any mistakes where we accidentally hoe the wrong tile or hoe like a space and use up energy, I think I'm content. Doing the accidental cancels too early is a time loss, but it's not as bad as hoeing the wrong tile. So now we have to make our way down this way. That annoying piece of wood right there. Make things so much easier if it weren't there. Or even if it was there and we could like say it was debris and we could top it to get rid of it. That'd be cool. Alright, so we did one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And should be here now. But since we can't till this tile, we have to find a replacement. And I've been doing that one down there to save this one for when we have to till that tile. Okay, we got that one and we can resume the pattern now. So we got nine more clay done there. So now we're on our fourth iteration of the pattern. That was a bad animation cancel there, but that's okay. And we can't till that top one, so we have to do three along here. So 
we did one, two, three. And now I believe we start to fill in this way. It's a lot easier when I take it slow like this and hopefully this way, taking it slow, we don't make any mistakes. If anything, if I don't get the most money the first day, this run will be um, spending the most amount of time on the first day to amount to nothing. Okay, so this is where we have to find the replacement, and we can go just three over to the right, two down. I've been using that little tile as a reference. We have to do the same thing up here for this tile. We can grab one here. And I think up here. Yep. So we just dug up that one. We're at 52 dirt tilled, 52 clay. That's good. That means we haven't accidentally wasted any. Once we're at I believe 70 clay, we have to eat this pepper poppers. So I gotta keep that in mind. Right, so... Pattern... Where does the pattern resume? We need to dig up one... one tile before we can resume that pattern down there. And we can go next to this dirt right here. All right. Next, we can just the nine or however many we can do in this pattern here. Okay, and it stops when we get up to the stepping stones up here. We're still 60 for 60 clay, so that's good. And then we need to find two tiles to replace. And we can just go above these two, or we can actually go down here, do the little speckles there, dig up those, dig up the one up, and then do that one right there. Accidentally didn't animation cancel on that one, but it's all right. We resume the pattern on this tile. And I'm pretty sure we can dig up Okay, so that's what messed me up the last time, so I have to be careful here. This tile, we cannot till. I hit it, um, I swung twice on it, so that means we're one, two tiles ahead. So we can actually just start the new pattern right here, ideally. Worst case scenario, those two swings didn't register and we just have to dig this one three. But at the worst case, or the best case, we should get a clay now on that tile first try.
Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And we get a clay. Okay. My heart was racing there. I was afraid um I had swung like maybe an extra time and we're actually ahead, but we were behind. We essentially lost two clay in the pattern, which is okay. We can just pick it up now from here. We can't dig up that one. So this right here. It doesn't advance the RNG if the spot doesn't get tilled. Yeah, that's that's true. Um, It is a little bit tricky for some tiles. Um, Piano Addict was mentioning it earlier on these like little decorations. If we till those, then and nothing happens, like it still counts as an iteration. So I'm not sure if it was true for those dark gray tiles or not. I just wanted to pretend I did to be safe because if we ignored that and went to, I don't know, it was just kind of like a safety net to make sure and get back on track with the right clay on the pattern. So I forgot to eat my pepper poppers, that's okay. We were six clay ahead. We should have eaten it way before that, but that's okay. We're going to resume the pattern now. We're at 76. We're two ahead, 78. So we need to dig up two spaces, and then we can go back down here. So... We can do these two down here pretty easily. One step. One step. We're at 22. Another step. Let's get these two out of the way. And we're at 23 steps now. Okay. Pattern should pick up back over here. Okay, that was a pretty decent row that I just did right there. Minimal mistakes. That's what we're looking for. All right, so I have to do one replacement. And then the clay pattern resumes over there. We can do that replacement. To the bottom left of this already tilled tile. Oh, and I forgot we're a little bit faster now with our pepper poppers. All right, I think this is a good time to take a screenshot. I think I just dug up that one, which means the next one's in the boat. But yeah, let's take a screenshot now. So we can line up the new tilled land with the predictor. There we go, that loaded nice and quickly. So I think we do one more row let me just okay we're at 
97 is the next one to till, so I have to remember that. It looks like we do one more row up top there. And then we can start to fill in. If I was at 97, I have to figure out, I think, two spaces. Yep, two spaces. And then we can resume the pattern. So right here should be good. One step there, two steps there. And I think one more. Okay, and then we go one, two, all the way up to nine up there. That's a step there. Just want to finish this row of clay and I'll add it to the counter. We're at 26. And let's see here. So we just dug up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can till that one up there. I think we have to do like two and then can get to the middle there. Yep. So if we go above these little dots right here, one, two, up and over to the right, these two tiles right here. Okay, we did that. So I think this is the, well, I, I, got a, I did a little bit earlier, but I think this is furthest we've gotten so far. One, two, okay, we can just easily sweep all the way up there. And I, I don't know if this tile is tillable or not, the one below the boat, I, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go on the safe side and say no, although I think maybe it actually can be tilled. Oh shoot, where did I leave off right here? Yeah, I'm going to say that one can't be tilled just in case and find a replacement for it. So we can go down here. We need three replacements, I believe. So down here we go one, two, three. And then we're back on track. So it's like in between these two tilt tiles right there. Okay. Now we work our way over to this one and then can fill out the pattern.
one step and I really screwed up the animation cancel there. Just tilled up this tile. Next one would be in the boat. Can't dig up the boat, so we have to go down here and do two replacements. However, this one's already been tilled up. So we might have to go all the way down to this muscle down there, which is okay just because at some point I did want to grab the muscle. Okay, so we successfully grabbed the muscle and we can go back over here. One step. Just take two more steps real quick. Make it 30. All right, so. We've left off over here. We can't till the boat. I think we have to do one, two, three somewhere. So 136, I have to remember that. And then I think the new pattern should resume. Let's go back to 138. I'm going to take a screenshot. It's a good time for that. Just to get this pattern right here. So hopefully that loads quickly. Nope, not yet. I have to give it a moment. Anyway. Or 36 was what we were at, because I remember this we dug that one. We have to dig up the replacement here. Since we're filling out this way, we have to stick to using replacements down at the bottom here. Oh, I think I may have already hoped that space. All right, screenshots ready. Got Lewis in this one as well. Okay, we can hold this one and that one, I believe. And then the new pattern starts there. So we only need to do one tile. And then it looks like a new pattern will start. Okay. That's not too bad. Then let's make our way over this way. Mayor Lewis is getting in our way. That's okay. And then yeah, it should work its way up that way. All right, the last one's up by the boat here. And then we can 
find one more space somewhere. And I think, or how, how many was that? Let's do a little counting here. We started there, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we did till that ninth one. So the pattern can actually just resume now, I believe, without having to do any fancy replacements. I take such long pauses here because I'm like trying to remember to myself, okay, I have to unpause, left click, spacebar, and then repause. And it's not, definitely not muscle memory yet. Again, it's in that weird limbo stage where it's almost becoming muscle memory, but it's not quite there yet, so I'm definitely prone to making mistakes. Okay, so we just did that one right there. And we did one more. We did this one right here. And can now do this one. From here, it should be a little bit smoother since we're not dealing with Elliot's boat over there any longer. Won't have to find replacements one, replacement clays. So hopefully the pattern won't be breaking now. And then we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Take a screenshot here just because I'm feeling a little bit iffy on if I need to do one more row of nine or if I start filling it in now. Fancy says, how much clay do we need today and do you need to sell it to a shop or can it go in the bin? So yeah, the clay requirements, Um, I'm hoping for I was hoping for originally like 300 before two o'clock. I don't know if that's realistic at this point, but essentially we need to sell some today. We're looking for 4,700 G for copper, a pack upgrade, two pepper poppers, and then let's see, 1,900 plus 2,000. Plus 800. So 4,700 G for that. Plus 300 for a coffee. That will grab on the way to Robbins. Although we have this starting money, so we can take away 500. We're at 4,500 G we need now. And then I want one more coffee for going to Spring Onions. For grabbing those for sure. So that's another... 300 G, so that's 4,800. I think that's what is like required. I'm hoping for maybe a little extra if we can. That way we can grab like maybe another coffee. I'm hoping for at least 300 more G for one more coffee. So I'm gonna say plus 300, 50, 100 G this way. We have a coffee for tomorrow when we run to the beach. That'll be good. So 5100G divided by 20 is 255 clay, which isn't too bad. We should be able to reach that before 2 o'clock. The hard part is after we successfully get the clay and sell it and grab what we need, we have to continue clay farming on the farm, and that's going to be difficult. But 
We'll see. So anyway, that should have given enough time for the screenshot to finish rendering. And we'll see where we left off here. I guess we, yeah, we missed two tiles, so that means we can dig up one up there. <laughs> Definitely not playing day two today. Definitely not playing day two today, but that's all right. Okay, so I think I have to do one more row here. So I dig that one up there and then it resumes over there. And who knows, maybe I counted my steps wrong, and this was just all for nothing. But let's think uh, more on the positive side here. I think I have to find two pieces of clay to till. And then I can resume here. Take one more screenshot just to be safe. Let's let it finish processing and then maybe it'll show up right away. Nope. Still have to give it a second. So this is the hard part, just making sure I'm following the clay pattern correctly here. All right, let's see if it oops, still hasn't loaded. Let me see if pausing, unpausing helps. Grace period for steps is pretty high, right? Like you lose only. Um, well, I mean, getting point one luck the next day will be really helpful. I'm not sure what one or two steps above or below what the luck were for those, but I guess I could also check that. Okay, so we've loaded in here. And I want to see where we're at on this pattern. So I guess we just tilled this one, which means we're now on this iteration, 174. And we need to till one, two, Two tiles, and then we can um, resume the like filling of the pattern right there. Okay, so here's the question: Where are we gonna dig up those pieces of clay? Because going all the way back down here is really out of the way, but I think that's the only option. Unless there's something over here that I'm missing. We can't do that because that's going to be resuming the pattern. Yeah, we just have to go down here. Which isn't terrible, I guess. Alright, we took one step there. Let me grab that clay. Okay. 
So yeah, we can start filling in from there now. I gotta make sure I'm getting these timings right. I took one step there. Timings on the animation cancels, tough. And then I think I can tell this one and then pick up the pattern over there. That's a step. When I make this into a video, when I make this into a YouTube video, I'm gonna have to call it something like this is what going insane while playing Stardew Valley looks like something like that because this is I do not recommend anyone at home trying this run for yourself I definitely recommend trying a mid-max run just not step counting the first day okay I'm into a bit of a rhythm here. Nope, never mind. Already screwed up the pattern. All right, so we're at this tile now. We're starting to get low on energy, but we've got plenty of energy restoring items. One step. Let's see. I can really eat anything. Uh, I'm going to take a screenshot real quick, make sure I have everything lined up right. Fancy says the first day seems miserable to min max. I'm having a I'm having a good time. What are you talking about? <laughs> um No way I'd be able to settle knowing more was possible so early on. I completely agree with that. That's why I want to get this first day to be perfect, because when I'm like five days into the run, I'm like, oh, I should have just spent another day trying to get the first day perfect. But there is a point where I have to settle or be satisfied with how I do and move on. So we'll see. We are going to finish this. Um, definitely not restarting again today. We're going to finish this one through and then see how we end up doing. All right, that gave us enough time to load in the screenshot here. Did I, here, I'm gonna eat a, I'll eat the cookies. I think we can till this tile right here. Although we can just go back this way and start the pattern again. So I think we should do that. Let's take two steps. Make it a nice even 35. Where is it? You didn't put 34 steps yet. Uh oh. <laughs> Had I taken an extra step? So I'm guessing we're at 36 now then. I trust you, Sonata Spirit. Um, but let's uh maybe take a look back at the replay. One moment. I 
tabs not loading here. It's taking a long time to load for that matter. Right, it really doesn't want to load. I took a step, but didn't count it before you ate. Okay. It is amusing to see the lighting on the webcam footage change because of the pause screen. Yep. Um, I talked about that a little bit earlier. It'd be nice if in the update there was an option for, like, the casual player, they don't notice it, but all of the pausing, it'd be nice to have an option to turn off that background dim because especially for people who get like um like seizures and stuff from like light flashing it'd be a nice option but uh, okay let's take a look back at the map predictor and pick up where we left off and i think we're doing okay on time what did i say I, we need 255 clay before two o'clock i th think that should be doable Real quick while I resume, um, I'm putting my trust in Sonata Spirit over at Twitch right now. Um, 36, is this right? Because we took the one step that I didn't count and I took two steps after that. So it should be 36. And I should be able to dig up the tile over this way. Another thing that I want to try out besides this min-max run challenge here is a multiplayer min-max run. It's been brought to me as an idea a couple of times, but the issue with that is you're going to hate each other. Whoever's playing with me is going to... We're going to hate each other by the end of it, because... I mean, we wouldn't... Let's see. Let's see. Um, The big thing about multiplayer is you can't pause. So everything has to be done within the 20-minute day or whatever. So honestly, it would go a lot faster than this. It would be a lot more bearable, but we'd probably have to restart a few times, which can get annoying. What I'm thinking is one person clay farms while the other three... I have no idea. I have no idea how the clay works in multiplayer. I'm guessing it's per world, so every time somebody digs a clay, it iterates. So maybe there's like some fancy coordination where everybody goes to the beach and then like I'll have to I've got a vision there's no way I can describe this vision but think of like one person digging the first clay the second person digging the second clay the third person digging the third clay the fourth person digging the fourth clay and while they're doing that the first person's already made their way up to this tile over here <laughs> Okay, I gotta, I gotta try that out. Just um, even just for um, making a quick little video about the idea of being a theory, but that would be really amusing to watch. I think. Did they ever fix that or slash node artifact spot duping? Um. Rob, did they ever fix that or node slash artifact spot duping? Yeah, the can can dance or the wave. Um, okay, yeah. So I, so I think the step counter, I think the step counter is good now. I think we're comfortable there.
Rabio 4, if you want to elaborate that on a, just a little bit. Um, did you ever fix that one node slash artifact spot do thing? Um, I'm not exactly sure what you're referring to. Back when more than one player could get the last hit on a node and... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. The artifact spot threw me off, but... um. I have no idea. That would be interesting, though. Essentially, what he's referring to is, like, in the mines or something, if you mined an Iridium node or any other sort of ore node or, like, blew it up at the same time as you mined it in multiplayer, it would actually duplicate. And, like, one player would get the items and the other player would get the mines of items as well. So that could be interesting to find out. I'll definitely have to look into that. Anyway, let's get back to the run here. So I just dug up that one. I should be making my way up this way now. I think that got patched out already, Sonata. Definitely believe you because it's a pretty significant bug. So we just dug up the one next to the little wood there. And I think... I actually have no clue if we can till this pile or not. So the safe thing to do is to till one up. And then just do eight in the next one. What's my name on Twitch? It's Captain Canadia 14, because Captain Canadia was already taken, Captain underscore Canadia was, basically every iteration was taken, so I ended up just uh, not changing, because that's what it was before, Captain Canadia 14. I tried to change it to be just Captain Canadia, but couldn't. I also linked it on my... Um, Discord, if you have Discord and are interested in joining that, it's over there. Otherwise, yeah, Captain Canadia, no spaces, and then 14 at the end. All right, let's... I believe it's this tile right here. We got imposters already. What are the imposters, Sonata? <laughs> Please be this tile. Okay, we're good. Wow, you see, I'm basically doing two swings per every clay, which is really bad. Like, I'm not using the energy for each swing, but I'm wasting a little bit of time there. Let's quickly take a screenshot. And load it in. Always takes a minute for that to load. I gotta see if I need to dig up this tile right here, or if I start to fill in the pattern. I think we're... We're up here now. It's gonna be quiet now, so you can bring it home. Well, definitely... Feel free to keep chatting, and maybe I'll just ignore it. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'll definitely keep looking over. But... Yeah, as I speak, where am I in the clay pattern? I think we're on this iteration right here. Maybe the screenshot has finished loading. Yep, there we go. Yeah, we just dug up this tile. We have to do... I think one more. Bro, 
and then we can start filling in there. Okay, cool. So we got that tile. And then we can start all the way over here. One step. One step. I'm going to mark it right away instead of getting confused like I did last time. Let's make it 40. Three steps puts us at 40 steps. Also grab, um, grab the clam now. We have to really focus on this last part. We need 255 clay. 255 minus 229. 26 more clay in 40 minutes. I I think we can do it, but we have to be um, precise here. We just took up that one. So now we have to find one, two, and then it fills in there. So where are those tiles going to be? Since we're not resuming the clay pattern after this, we can probably go somewhere up here. Like right here. And then start to fill in this pattern here. Uh, almost there. So we need the field snack now. I think the next one is this little wood board here. We have to find a workaround there. And we could actually go over here. And do those two. And then resume. Ah. Uh, I did the wrong one. That's okay. This will put us at 255 play. <laughs> okay, we did it. 255 play, but we have to rush out of here now. We can grab one more clay here. So 155 clay um, is what we need to sell to Robin. And of course, we can grab some more pieces of clay along the way as we go. So to be prepared for that, let's load up the town. All right, this is where it'll get us slightly more interesting of what's been going on. We've been watching, what time is it? Eight o'clock, four hours and seven minutes of clay farming on the beach. Ooh, okay. So, saloon, saloon, buy a coffee. That's what we're doing. And there, there's no clay to grab along the way, which is okay. We're gonna count steps here while we're walking through town. So let's do 10 steps at a time. That's 10. I really don't like when it changes the sound from the brick to the 
grass because it confuses me, but it's okay. Right, we're almost at the saloon. Let's do five more steps. Two steps. Let's mark those before I forget. Because if you noticed, even when I'm running into the door and not moving, but still like the walking animations playing out and we hear those step noises, they still count as steps. Okay, so all we can buy now is the one coffee, but the coffee really helps us with speed. Okay. You can buy between the two stools above the door. Oh, interesting. I did not know that, but that's good to know. All right, let's. Get back at it. Okay. So let's do three steps real quick. We're at 60. And I think we're just going straight up to Robins now. Is there any clay along the way? There is a little bit of clay along the way that we can grab. So like right above that, let's do 10 steps. Puts us at 70. Okay, so here's the situation. Do I waste time? Well, not waste time, but do I use time? Well, the answer is no, because I don't know if I have enough time. But basically, there is another daffodil up to the left, and then the fiber. We can get some mixed seeds from scything that. But I'm going to be devastated if we don't make it to Clint's on time. So we won't worry about that. We're not going to count steps right now because Maru is right by us and I hold the wrong one. That's fine. Okay, there we go. Okay, so if anything, the takeaway is I need to get better at animation canceling. One step, we mark that, and then I'm going to try to animation cancel walk now. Oh, I want to grab this daffodil. Just in case, I like the pause buffer when I'm going there. Okay, so we're going to grab the leeks. We have to sacrifice, well, no, we don't because they're, so one of the leeks is a gold star, but I don't think we'll hit 
foraging level one before then. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Times seven XP is 56. Yeah, so we're, there's no way we're going to hit it. We're going to hit foraging level XP when we get to the spring onions, but not right now, which is fine. Let's go to the mountains map. One step. Oh, my heart skips a beat every time I take a step. Or hear that footstep sound. We should still be accurate. I believe there is a leak down this way. And here. Here. And there. All right. We got our leaks. We need to get to Robin's as soon as possible. And I was going to go up and around like that, but that's kind of dumb, actually. I don't think there's any. I don't think there's anything up there and we can't clay farm i need to get to clint's like no we're actually fine on time we're we're i'm not worried we, we can leave robins at 3 10 and be fine Grab those two pieces of clay, because why not? Grab that one as well, and one there. Okay, three o'clock. I know we're cutting it close, but we're going to be fine. Only reason I come to the backwoods here is for that leak. Okay. Two hundred and fifty five clay. Okay, we're we're fine on time. It's 310. This is enough time to make it to the trash can to grab the geode and then go to Clint's. Little bit, just a little bit stressful. But I think we should be perfectly fine on time. That is if I can get this animation canceling correct. Honestly, I shouldn't worry about the clay along the way. Let me Yeah, I'm I'm not going to worry about those. I'm too worried. Let's count steps. 10 steps. I'm just ever so slightly worried that I am wasting time when going in and out of the inventory. Right here, we have to be a little bit more precise. But we can take some steps now. Let's take eight, seven, eight. Just to be super safe. Um, just to be super safe. Let's see if I can catch that on the replay. Oh, 
Um, let me refresh YouTube. It seems to be a bit slow. Okay, YouTube should be back up now. I think it was lagging a bit. Not sure what happened there. But yeah, I'm going to real quick double check that I counted those steps correctly. Here we go. I'm going to count now. Okay, yeah, I counted right. No, it's 10. Sorry. Yeah. It's always good to double check and be safe. We're watching on YouTube, but chat on Twitch. LOL, I'm way behind. I saw 10. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure Twitch has a little bit faster chat, maybe. I'm not exactly sure, but. Anyway, I think we're fine on steps. I think we can keep going. I'm not going to worry about digging up any clay. There isn't even any to dig up. So we need to, I think. OK, I have two options. I can go this way to the trash can, or I can go this way. I think this way is faster. We should be fine on time. I'm not too worried. We go straight down against the fence. Let's take some steps. That's 10. We've made it to 100. Hooray. All right. Let's take, um, take our time getting to that trash can. Well, actually quite the opposite. Let's get to that trash can as fast as possible. That lid was the trash can closing. I did not take a step there. It's also weird like when I do that. Okay, we need to get up there. 10. And two, so that's 12. 112 steps, if anybody wants to verify that's right, but I'm pretty sure that's right. And we've made it to Clint. Okay. So we start by opening this geode here. 20 copper ore. And we buy 25 copper ore. So all I need to do is control shift click 20 copper ore. And I don't know if we need to do this, but just in case I'm going to throw it out of my inventory and pick it back up. Cause maybe opening the geode, we don't need to do that. 112 is correct. What number attempt are you on so far? Um, this is my first attempt where I made it past clay farming on the beach. Basically, earlier, I was still trying to get the hang of animation canceling, so... But but in that regard, like, restarting attempts at the beach, lots and lots of attempts. Thank you to both um, Rabio4 and Sonata Spirit for double-checking the steps were right. I think we're on the same page. Step counter also doubles as an attempt counter. Oh, I got cut off a little bit there. I need to give me that move that over a little bit. There we go. 
Yeah, I should have had a restart counter because I think we're at least like 10 or 15. So anyway, we've done our business with Clint. Let's take um, eight steps. Eight steps. And I think, um, we, so I don't know what's faster, the saloon or Pierre's first, but we can kind of get a feel for it based off of the map predictor here. I mean, it really, it really doesn't make a difference. I'd say saloon first, so we can go back this way to Pierre's and then make our way to Cindersap Forest over here. Got to right align the text element instead of left for future, I guess. Yeah. Looks like we can grab some clay longer way. Saloon between stools. Okay, I'll have to double check exactly um how to do that. Oh, I can't till that tile. Okay, that's good to know. Now, this is the tricky part. I have to see how many times I tilled that tile. So give me one moment. Yeah, YouTube seems to have a bit of a delay for some reason. I mean, I know there's a built-in delay just for better quality, but... All right, so I have to see basically how many times I attempted to hoe that tile. Grab some water while I let this play back. Stream's so long, it's so hard to get precisely on the part I need to. Okay. One, two, three. Four, four times I attempted to I attempted to dig it four times okay that's good to know that means we might be one two three four attempts ahead because as piano addict was saying earlier during the stream that some of these tiles the decoration tiles when we hoe over it, it actually counts as an iteration. And I don't know if that means like we're one ahead and then it's like, quote unquote, like already tilled, like that state has already been changed or if it's four attempts. So to be safe, we're going to skip forward four iterations and then just till the next one multiple times if we need to. Go up by the saloon. Actually, see if there's anything up here. Doesn't look like it. In between the stools. Oh, I did not know that, but thank you, Fanata, for that information. That saves us a little bit of time. Okay, so. I want 2,000 G for the pack upgrade. So that means 3,400 minus 2,000 leaves us 1,400 G. 800 of that is spent on pepper poppers, which leaves us 600 G for two coffees. 
So here's the... Here's where we have to... Here's why I should have gone to Pierre's before going to the saloon. So I do have a little bit of an idea here of how I can make this work here, but it's not going to be pretty. Because my goal is to not throw anything out. Don't worry, I trust you. I know I know you wouldn't troll me. I just had no idea that was a thing. Okay, so... What I'm trying to do is throw it out of my inventory so I don't delete it and then quickly buy these. I don't know if I'll be able to do it because the pickup range is a little bit too large. Okay. Two coffees. Two pepper poppers. Nope, I already picked that back up. Okay. We'll come back for those after we grab the pack upgrade. Oh, we don't need to talk to Pierre. Actually, no reason to, well, I'm gonna s not sell those because I was gonna to make space, but we will have space now with the pack upgrade. We're just at zero G, very nice. So I think the daffodils will actually be better spent turned into spring seeds, so I will hold on to them. I didn't have the parsnip seeds on me, that would have helped. But anyway. We got our clay and single clam back. Let's head down to Cinder Sap Forest. Don't believe there's anything in those trash cans. Pretty confident. And am I foraging level one? I am not foraging level one yet, so it's not even worth to check if we can bake the trees or not. All right, so anyway, we're over to Cinder Sap Forest now. Nope, not island. And the clay pattern is still kind of messed up so we have to get back on track with that we can do so with this tile right here and of course those footsteps are Haley. so let's eat oh shoot i need to drink a coffee around a speed boost but we will do so after Eating a leaf. Okay, so I have to get the clay pattern back. So it looks like. Okay, so it looks like the times I hoed that little tile I was talking about earlier actually did not count as iterations, but I wanted to be safe just in case. We are back on track now with the clay pattern. I think we can till, must have tilled the wrong one. That's okay, let's just head down to the spring onions now. Let's get 
probably take a few steps, but just going one second. Oh, coffee. Almost forgot. That's five. Let's, I don't know which ones were the gold stars, but let's just grab these two down here first. I'm not sure if there's a way to predict spring onion quality. Okay, so what you just heard there wasn't a step. It was me moving through the spring onions, which is a different noise than steps, which is super confusing, but that was definitely not a step. For example, that right there was not a step, and that was not a step either. Yeah, I know they, I know they sound like steps, Sonata, but they're actually a different noise that sounds exactly like the steps. Yeah, it's it's really confusing, but I know for sure I'm not taking steps there. I think we're yeah, we're forging level one now, so we can start to get quality forageables and also maybe some acorns. Um we're at 277 clay tilled. I think it should save, but I'm gonna go over to um, tree felling. Actually, no, I'm not gonna waste any energy. Let's just go to tree shaking. Requires upload. And I can't really upload the save just because it's on a different seed. I don't know if this will work. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to just not worry about that. I was gonna try to maybe get some acorns, but I think I'd have to basically end this day and go back to the predictor and be a whole hassle. And still, none of those were steps. Those were just all the spring onions. So, anyway. We're gonna head back over this way. Um, let me see if there's any clay along the way. Basically, we have a good amount of time left in the day. And the goal here is to play farm on the farm so that we hold some of the tiles later for planting. I also need to plant the 15 parsnip seeds here. And yeah, I think that's about it. We've already hit foraging level one, so we wake up with full energy. And I'm curious, we have 51 seconds left on the pepper poppers, so... Okay, here's where I have to make a semi-important decision. Whether or not we consume a second pepper poppers today. They last for seven minutes. And there's like, what, 43 seconds in an in-game hour. So seven times 60 divided by 43 means they last us a whole 9.7 or nearly 10 in-game hours. So we wouldn't be getting the full use out of them. 
Although I think it's still worth it to use it for day one here because tomorrow we're most likely going to be looking to um, spend most of the day fishing. Although we might do some clay farming as well. So I, th I think it's worth it to use the pepper poppers now. Like not now, but when this buff wears out or when it comes close to doing so is what I mean. But anyway, I think this tile up here is the next one to fill. Okay. Makes me feel a little bit better that we're on track with the clay farming pattern right now. We can't till that one. So, move it up this way now. If I end up getting correct with my step, I will most likely keep this day and move on to day two. Not tonight, or today, for wherever you may be, but next time I'll most likely move on to day two rather than retrying this day. We'll, we'll see, though. We'll see how we finish off the day, but we did meet our goals for the morning. the wrong one there. I'm still so bad at the animation canceling. It is what it is. One step. We should really think about getting back to the farm now. We actually want Oh, shoot. This kind of sucks. I forgot to, at when I was at Robin's, I forgot to move my shipping bin and cabin around to clear the grass. So that, that really... Not sure what to do now because that in itself really requires a restart i'm not gonna restart right now of course i'm gonna finish this day through but that essentially makes clay farming on the farm 10 times harder because we actually have to clear the grass we're gonna get confused because the grass makes sounds so yeah that that sucks but I guess we'll go along with it. So we just tilled this one. Nope, I don't know where we are on the pattern, but that's okay. I'm gonna skip ahead a few tries. I'm gonna eat my silver spring onion. And dig this tile a few tries. And hopefully we get our clay pattern back. All right, there we go. We're back on the clay pattern. Just go back to the farm and go from there. Well, that's really unfortunate. All of this grass could have been gone, making it so much easier, but I forgot. Wow. 
Yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to end up redoing this day, most likely. Yeah, I completely forgot about the shipping bin mowing the lawn as well, but it is what it is. There's still other parts of the farm we can clay farm on. We always get to that section later. We can, because day two, we have to turn our pickaxe in. So what we can do is spend some time clearing stones as we kind of clay farm, just because we want the stones cleared for clay farming. Ooh, that's just, that's hard to recover from. But I've already spent this much time on it, so I am going to see how far we can get. Or how much, how well we can actually end up doing. So I want to upload a screenshot of my farm. Might take a little bit to render. Give it a second there. Anyways, we're at 296 clay. The stones. We'll see which ones line up with rocks in a second here, once the screenshot can load. A little more time. But I will have to mine some of these just to make a path. I think one of them here should give full. Now, these gold spring onions, we'll eat both of them. Get them out of the way. Upper poppers. Almost done with that, so we probably eat one more. Yeah, Robin. I just don't know if it's worth it or not to go all the way up to Robin's. Big decision. But yeah, Robin should be back at her shop at like 7.50. I'll... Real quick, double check that time. It should be 750. Yeah, 750. So we can technically go back to Robbins, but is it worth it to go all the way out of our way like that? And then what we we don't have a whole lot of clay to sell to her, so it's not really worth it to sell her more clay. We could sell her the clay, get a couple more coffees from the saloon, but we're making a second stop at Robin's, a second stop at the saloon. That's what I really was hoping to avoid today. So let's see if that screenshot loaded. And the coal really doesn't seem to line up here. One step. Um, well, well, here, here's what I'm, the way I'm thinking of it. The time loss of going all the way to Robbins to move the shipping bin, I would consider that a high enough time loss to reset the day, so I'd rather just try to clay farm on the farm here without mowing the grass and see if I can save the run by just, like, working around that at all. Although most likely a reset is inevitable, but we'll, we'll see. So 
But anyway, let's try to get the coal from this rock right over here. Alright, and are there any others? Doesn't look like it. There is one up here. I have to keep that in mind. Switch back to tilling. I should have gone for the ones down here. So let's see if there's any. So tough because it's really no good space to clay farm without mowing all of this grass. So we could potentially do it over here. Which would mean I need stone. Yeah, I think I think I might have to go up to Robin's. And I don't know, I'll end up redoing the day. Not tonight, obviously, but probably off stream. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just, I'm really determined to get this day to be as close to perfect as possible. So anyway, let's start to make our way upwards. And I'm not taking steps right now. This is just the grass making noise, which is really deceiving. That was a step though. And that was the stuff. Okay, so... I don't know what this is right here blocking me, so let's go around. That was a step. Let's do one more. Is that 130? Okay, our pepper poppers are gone. And coffee's about to wear off. Guess I might as well see if there's any clay. Along the way. And while we're up here, we will find an extra leak, which I guess is nice. So let's take some steps. That's ten. Let's try to get some of these steps out of the way while we're moving about, and also... Ideally, I should, shouldn't should have needed to drink the coffee.
I think it's better saved for tomorrow. But at this point, I'd rather use it right now. So it just lets us get to Robins a little bit faster. Although I think I'm, I think I didn't need it. I think we could have made it. I was accidentally talking while counting or while doing steps there, but I'm pretty sure it was five. Let me double check that. Yeah, that was five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we're good there. It's just better to be safe. We did nine steps there. But I'm going to double check it just because Robin interrupted us there. Wow, YouTube does have quite a significant delay here. I'm just realizing. We're almost done. I'm taking it slow just because... I want to try to finish it and get that perfect luck the next day. All right, let's see. Hard to get it precise here. Sorry, guys, still trying to count here. Okay, let's listen. I guess I'm listening. I can't tell if it was nine or ten. I gotta listen to it one more time. Wow, this is painful. into it one more time. Okay, here's what I need to, so that was, I think it was 10. I think it was 10. But it depends on so hard to tell. I have to wait for Robin here. So we might be at either ten or eleven. It all depends on if that last noise I heard right here was a step or not. I'm gonna let Robin go inside. Okay, now we can listen. Okay, so that's what a step sounds like right there. So I think it was 10 steps, which means we just took one there, so that's plus one, and then that was another one there, so 167. And if that's wrong, I'm probably gonna redo the day anyway. no point in selling her the clay but we can clear our grass here at the very least 
goes a little bit faster since we have the cabin here. But most of the space here isn't large enough for the cabin blueprint to begin with, unfortunately. So we will have to mostly rely on the shipping bin. Yeah, nothing over there. Okay. So if we place our cabin up here, we can get a little bit faster start to um, fishing tomorrow. And then it's also out of our way. It is also sometimes nice to have at the bottom of the farm. Not sure if that would be better for fishing tomorrow. But yeah, it's just time to get rid of all of the grass, which is quite tedious in itself. But it will make clay farming a lot easier. Oh, let me see what, um, Just went 165 to 167, calling it one step. Was that intended? So I was looking back and I had did plus 10. Um, or I did plus. So the first part of it, I had either walked nine or 10 steps. And then after that, I tested with another step and then tested another step after that. But I added one because I determined I think I ended up taking 10 steps, not 9 steps. But I could be wrong. It was when I was just about to arrive at Robbins. If you want to double check that point, it's right before I show up at Robbins. And I got confused with the step counting because Robin was started to walk. So got a little bit mixed up. But yeah, let's continue moving that shipping bin wherever it went. Yeah, it's possible, but I also could be wrong. It really all comes down to if I walked nine steps or ten steps when I entered the screen of the mountains until the time I reached Robin's shop. Not too sure which it was. Right now, I have it so that I counted 10 steps, but I could do one less if I ended up walking only 9 steps at that period. But yeah, this could have all been done earlier in the day, and then we wouldn't have needed to make the trip to Robbins. So I'm definitely going to redo this day, but... Let's just see what our improvement was on from last time at the very least. Moving this shipping bin around is so tedious. Okay, is there any other grass we have missed? I think down here there's some. Okay, 
think it's looking pretty good. Let's put the shipping bin back up here. And let's move along. I still don't know if that step right here was a step or not. So I was walking this way. And let's just do a few steps here. One, two, three right there. I think it was a step because I pretty sure I heard that stone make a noise. So I think it ended up being 10. But anyways, let's get back to the farm now. That was 11, 12, plus 8 for 20. Ten. Ten. For twenty for two hundred and ten. It's it's quite like it's quite as not difficult when we can actually hear ourselves. Okay, here we go. So play farming on the farm, the most dreaded part for sure. Let me upload that screenshot from earlier. And we'll see if we're lined up on this spot right here. So that's one, two. I want to see if no coal there. I don't know if that's a rock down there or not. No, that's a fiber. One step there. Almost there. All right. So when Blade did the Adams Family song with the shipping. No, I did not, but that's sounds like a good time. Okay. So I'm actually gonna take another screenshot now that the grass is gr um gone. Play that loads quickly. It's a little bit harder to see the clay now, of course, but that's fine. Okay. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nah, it's not a good place to start the pattern. We're at 298. We'll find a good place to start the pattern at some point. I think I can dig on this tile. And maybe the pattern along this way. Oh, I really want to find good place to start it like up here so one two so no not there I need to dig another tile here keep going this way and we 
could start the pattern here. Not that great either. And I'll move this way. Could this one here. That's one, two, and then this over here. How's the shipping been closing? We have one, two. And can we start it here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that wouldn't be too bad. Let's, I guess, do that. I'm looking right at this one. This one right here. That's two steps. Because I have three steps. I'm going to mark those before I forget. Because I still can't animation camp. To be fair, I just learned the, I guess, proper way of animation canceling. But anyway, let's go over here. We're safe, that gave us clay. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I started on the beach today. Just because I think without starting on the beach, we wouldn't have been able to make enough money quick enough. Although, would have also been nice to have some daylight while clay farming on the farm here. But anyway. I think there's a piece of clay right here we can grab. One, two, and then we go back over this way, I'm pretty sure. Let's double check that. And I should also take some steps. That's seven steps. Two hundred and Two. I was at 215 before, so yeah, So it definitely would have been safe to take some more steps throughout the day. Let's 
trying to not take steps because I didn't know how many we would be able to throughout the day, but we're at 122. We've got like a little less than 100 more to go. Once we dig up this tile and this tile. This way. Okay, so let's take some steps here. That's nine. So that's 231. And our next piece of clay. So hard to tell. I think it's right here. I don't know what's in. Oh, it's a stone. All right, I don't mind mining the rocks because we will need 20 stone. As long as we're continuing to get clay, that was a step. Let me. Mark that in one second. I just wanna. Okay. I'm gonna mark it before I forget. We'll probably have to mine that rock eventually. And I can't mine that tile up there. So. Next one. Can do over here. And then so that's one, two, three. So now we have our fourth row here. That was ten steps. I'm pretty confident. The shipping bin did make a noise there, but I think I distinguished 10 steps apart from it. Hopefully. That was a step. We're at 43. And then... Alright, we're still getting clay. That's what matters. Step. Two steps. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Appreciate the help with the Counting, of course. Glad you're gonna make it. Alright, so we just tilled this one right here. Oof. Okay, and then we will start to fill in this way. We start here, it'll start to fill in. So it's right above the tree. Okay. And then the last one above the stone. I think we do one more up there actually. And I can't grab that one. 
problem with the screenshots here is it's going to keep getting darker and darker. That's nine steps. So we're at 54. Okay, the sapling here breaks the pattern. Let me see if I can upload the map. I can't easily turn up the brightness, but it's okay. So I think we just dig up this one down here as a filler. Okay, and then we ended right next to the shipping bin and we can go one more this way. Okay, and then we gotta go back this way. Just take a few steps here. We're at, let's take like six steps maybe. That way we're at 260. I think it's that tile. And boy, is it hard to see. Okay, so this is where it starts to overlap with some of the spaces we've already filled. So we just did the one below the rock, which means there aren't really any good placements here, are there? We can try to get over to this one over here. that one I think if we want to resume the pattern we actually make our way back this way Wow, it gets dark on the farm. And I think there's a log here, but let's see again. One step, one step, 261. Guess we can get the log out of the way. It's fine. Although I'm trying not to waste too much energy on that stuff. Let's consume. A leak because basically we want we want to consume the higher energy items first okay shoot I may have lost the pattern so what did I just tell I'm gonna have to take a screenshot here. Yeah, if there was a good way to start at the farm and then 
end at the beach. I just don't know if there is. What, I just told that one? So now I should be going up this way, right? I think I ended up tilling an extra tile. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we just did that one, so we're on this one right here now. So there's a few more we have to fill in, and then we can resume the pattern over there. Boy, it is really hard to see. There's one more. I think it's no, if it's not that tile right there. In fact, I don't even know what that tile is. Safe thing to do is to skip ahead a couple tiles. Um, <laughs> stopped in at a good time, Adam. Um, clay farming is going okay at night, but it's definitely a lot more difficult. Okay, so safe thing to do right here. Basically what happened there is I have no idea what is behind this tree up here in this tile right here. I thought I tilled it, but I didn't get a piece of clay from it. So we're just going to resume the clay pattern starting from this tile. And I may have to till it twice. But now we're back on track. Okay, got one there. Right next is up by these logs. We end on that one right there. So it's like a stick. Yeah, most likely it must have been a stick like diagonal like this. So I'm guessing I didn't end up hoeing that tile. But anyway. We'll have to make our way back down here, do a few hoes, and then we can resume the pattern over there. I don't think it gets any darker than this, so we might as well just take screenshots. Have to give it a minute to load. Let me take a few more steps while I go down there. It's plus five. So that's 266. Okay. So we have one tilled right here, I believe. upload the right screenshot right yeah okay we have one it should be fairly easy to see right there uh, we 
we definitely have an, enough time for the energy from another leak. Okay, behind this tree, we got a clay. Okay, so that's good. Hard to see what's behind the trees, but I think we're safe there. Okay, this pattern resumes over here now. Although, it looks like... It looks like it should have been filling in there, which... Oh no. No, that's my mistake. We We have... I think two more rows and then it starts to fill in. But yeah, I definitely do not recommend clay farming at nighttime. 8,000 gold. Let's see right now. I had earned 5,100 G, got the pack upgrade, got the copper, got the pepper poppers. Right now, 119. So, yeah, it'll probably put us around 8,000, which. Hoping for over 10,000, so I'm probably. I don't know. We're gonna finish up this day and then I'll talk about potentially doing it again in the future after that, but at the very least, I have to finish this one out. Boy, it is hard to see anything here. Okay, we got... Um, one, two, three, four, however many to get us up to this tile. Now, I guess we can go over here, fill out some of this space. Also, might as well plant some of these parsnips. Try to get them as close together as possible. Because if we remember, we actually have a crop fairy. It's almost completely forgotten about that. That is um one step right there. We do have to get to 311 pretty soon. Oh boy, animation canceling is hard. Okay, this tile, yeah, that was a log. And a... For some reason, I don't think I got a clay from it, but... Weird. Is a seed worth a green bean? green bean. I don't know. <laughs> um, looks like we resumed the pattern all over, all the way over this way. Take a couple more steps. So I said a nice even 269. I think I have to go for 
this one all the way over here. I lost the pattern, so let's skip ahead a few iterations. And then it should, should be able to get back to it right here. Okay. Obviously, that kind of sucks. That's um, like a few tool swings wasted, a few clays we could have gotten, but definitely hard to keep track of the pattern here. We're going to go for the spring onions now. Since we're running out of time. We should also really consider walking a few more steps here. That's two, puts us at 71. So anyway, back to the predictor here, I think we Okay, that was a fiber plant. I couldn't tell what that was right there. But we just destroyed one, two, or killed. We overexerted ourselves, but that's no problem since we are leveling up foraging. The last one landed right here. We can do a few more down here, possibly. So 418, I have to remember that number. Okay, we need one more, and then we can pick up the pattern over here, I believe. one. No, that was the wrong one. No, that was the right tile. So I definitely just dug up that one there. So that's strange. Let's just skip to this iteration. One step. Might have to, yep, okay, there we go. Okay, we got one, two, for sure. And now we're gonna resume on that one right there. All the way up to that tile. We just tilled that tile, so now we're definitely on this iteration. We have to walk a few more steps here. I think it's gonna be a little bit easier oh, if we try to fill out some of this space beneath us. One step, two steps. Oh, 
Okay. We do have to for our energy. Sure, but I sort of just lost the pattern there. I think I accidentally tilled this one and then this one, which means we're like up here somewhere. And these stones are certainly getting in the way. Okay. And let's take a step. And you really have to take um, some steps now. <laughs> so I believe that's two more. Let me double check that real quick, just because I may have forgotten to mark one. So delayed on YouTube where it takes a little bit to find the right part. Okay, so I was at 275. Did I take a step? Still waiting for it to play back. Okay, so I got 276. Okay, I didn't mark that one. Okay, 277. Okay, yeah. Just had to double check that right there, but we are accurate, hopefully, at 277. I can till that tile right there. I do need to take a few steps here just to get them out of the way. Okay. Let's get these steps out of the way just because I'm worried we're not going to have time. That's four. I think there must have been something blocking us from digging this dirt right there. So let's, I guess we can resume the pattern down here. Maybe over here. That's three, four, five. And definitely should have taken more steps earlier, but I do need to make sure. Yeah, clay in the bin. Thank you for reminding me, Adam. Let's do that now before I forget. Four steps. Five steps. I need six more. Six steps. Okay. I was going to try to go to sleep in the cabin, but I just wanted to get those last 11 steps out of the way. So now, I'm not even going to worry. I'm just going to pass out. And... We will see if we have maximum daily luck. Let's see how many crops the crop fairy grows here. But yeah, that was 
an improvement over my first attempt, but still, I don't know. There's always going to be stuff to improve on. So, of course, it chooses one of the tiles all the way to the left. So it's not going to grow all of them, but that's OK. So we ended up earning, I believe, 5,100 plus 3,000, so just a little over 8,000 G. OK, here's the moment of truth. It is super luck, but that doesn't matter. It could be, it could be um, the wrong one. So we open our file. Oof. I'm so nervous for this. Stardew Valley saves. Um, I think this is the new seed. Nice. Yeah, that's what this run's ending up being, Adam. All right. Notepad. Shoot. It's not point one. What did we do wrong? How many steps did we walk? It's all the way up. Three hundred and eleven. All right, so we took three hundred and eleven steps here. I think I might know what the problem was. I think it has to do with the seeding. So anyway, here's we took three hundred and eleven steps. So we were successful in our step counting. So that's an achievement in itself. But the daily luck is 0 0.088, when it should be 0 0.1. And the saloon dish of the day, um, maybe dish? Dish of the day. Um, I guess we'll have to just wait and see from in-game here. But anyway, we we were successful on 311 steps. So let's see what that's all about and why we're not getting the correct daily luck. So I think it has to do with the dynamic seeding. So I was pretty sure this is determined off of the base game seed. But maybe I needed to input the next seed over, like the one I loaded into the game with. So here's how we can test this out. Oh, I need to. Yeah, everything should be in the step predictor correctly. But here's what I'm thinking is happening. Um, let me load that up real quick. Okay, so here is Okay. Here's this. Let me grab the dynamic seed that I loaded in with. So I think what I needed to do was instead of this is the seed I created on day zero when I created the file, I was supposed to put this seed, the one I loaded in with. And if we look at 200 plus 
111, we're at 0 0.088. So that's definitely what happened. So we have good daily luck, which is fine, but that the 11 spice yields would have been really nice. I'm most likely going to redo this day. Maybe if I feel like it, I don't know. We'll see. But in this case, maybe we don't need to take as many steps. Maybe there's a point one that comes beforehand with this seed here. Or even a, yeah, so here's a point one, but vegetable medley isn't very exciting. Point nine four. Here's a point one with three pink cakes. I think those are pretty bad for energy compared to cost. None of those look too exciting, so let's add 100 steps here. I mean, the dish of the day isn't as important. I think the luck is what really matters for fishing. It just would have been nice to get, or we could get something that gives us fishing buff if we're going to be fishing. Um, yeah, so we, so we ended up walking the correct amount of steps here. Let me check back on chat. Yeah, so, so basically what happened was we walked the amount of steps, but I had the wrong seed. Because I dynamic seeded, we needed to change this right here. And then at the end of the day, it determines the next day's luck. So it's not like we can just load into the game with a different seed and get the luck and dish the day that we wish. Anyway, it means we step counted correctly, which is an achievement. So I do want to spend a little bit of time seeing if there's any good combination between dish of the day, 11 strange buns. Um, nothing too appealing yet. Let's look at next slot um carp surprise probably not fried eel um yeah nothing with the super luck is looking too great and we definitely don't want to walk over like a thousand steps red plates what do red plates do red plates increase maximum energy by 50 they cost 400 g or store 240 energy they're not bad for energy restoration but Not like they give luck buff. Okay, well, this will be something I'll have to look into. For the rest of this week, though, I'm going to be focused on making my video. Um, there was a super meal that gives one speed with a luck of point. Okay, let me look back at that real quick. Maybe that wouldn't be bad. Yeah, the super meal for plus one speed isn't bad. Um, it was nine six. Not seeing it here. Was it um? little bit more back it may have been 
I can always, oh, on like 100 steps? Okay, cool. Yeah, that one might be the way to go then, just because I don't really want to be counting like 600 plus steps. Eight super meals, but I don't think we're going to have the money for that much to begin with. Um, three spicy eels and 0 0.098 at 756 steps. Well, that's probably too many steps to count. It is something to keep in consideration, though. Let's do one more time. I probably won't view any further than this. Unless there's like a point one luck with like an insane dish down this line. I am honestly surprised I successfully counted the steps correctly. Fried eel. Fried eel is plus one luck, I'm pretty sure. Maybe, um, I don't know if there's anything that gives good fishing buffs or not. What does the fish taco do? Fish tacos plus two fishing. It would be nice to get something with luck and fishing buff, so... I don't know if there's anything that does that. Let me check here. Shrimp cocktail does, but I don't think that's the dish of the day. Um, yeah, looks like that was the only one. So either fishing or luck is what we have to decide between. So yeah, something that might be a little more reasonable. If we look down here. Somewhere around here. Oh, there's two super meals for 0 0.098, which might be decent. Seen hot pots increase magnetism. Maybe that could be good. Yeah, I'll definitely have to look into that. Let's go back to game for now. Close up the map predictor. But yeah, so it was an improvement over the first day. I think there's still a few more improvements that I can make. Um, we got a few free parsnips here. Is that enough for farming level one? It is not. That's all right. But yeah, anyway, thanks everybody for tuning in. Thank you everybody who stopped by. Now you're not seeing it, Adam. Yeah, maybe it was the, there was a 0 0.098 luck with two super meals, which isn't bad, but I'll, I'll definitely double check and see what will be best. To go for because the 11 spicy eels and point one luck would have been nice but i guess it's definitely not worth it because we need that dynamic seed change to get the 20 copper ores and everything from the trash cans so yeah i'll let's see probably take a little break from this day one here and for the rest of this week focus on making my five strategies video because that's kind of my priority right now I mean besides like school and stuff but we will see but anyway thanks for everybody who have stopped by the stream and hope to see you in the next one hope you um I'm still 
I'm gonna end the stream in one second. I'm still just wondering if it's worth it to redo this day or not. Yeah, I'll have to think about that. But again, thank you, everybody. See you in the next.